morning. Hi. Sorry for the late start. My dog again. I'm in this dog. I'm literally in here ready to go and my dog pops. <laughs> I can't. I mean, we're in, uh, what is it? February 15th? February 15th and my dog has already hit the uh, um, deductible for her health insurance. We had the ear and then yesterday I'm all morning long. That's why there was, I was going to do a show yesterday morning. All morning long at the vet yesterday with this dog. Scratching, scratching. She can't stop scratching her chin. And her ear, even though the ear infection's gone, she's like scraping up her ear, just scratching her head like there's a worm or some sort of bug that is burrowed deep into her skull and she can't claw it out all day long, scratching, 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 you know? So I take her to the uh, vet yesterday and they look at her teeth because I'm thinking she has a tooth infection or something that's like... You know, spread to her ear. You know, that all that stuff's related. Eyes, ears, note, thro- throat. <laughs> note, throat, nose, throat. Hit the like button. We're back. And um, the vet looks at her teeth and says they're all fine. And, and they talk me into giving her this Cytopoint injection, which is like, I don't know, some sort of. I don't know if it's an an antihistamine or some sort of, I don't know what it is. I'm not a vet anymore. I gave that up years ago, but they want to stop her from scratching nonstop. And this is supposed to like, if she has irritated skin and I got to say already, she's not scratching as much. So I don't know what's going on. And then I think it's all, I think we're all, I think we're all good and we're all set. I'm up at 4 a.m. this morning, getting ready for the show. We're on track. I'm up here on time. We're ready to go. My dog just pops. 6 6 a.m. on the dot, literally while I'm sitting here about to go live, my dog just pops and vomits all over. Now, I don't know if this is a normal thing. My dog gets... uh, my dog will vomit every morning if she doesn't eat. She'll, she'll like, throw a bile. So I have to, like, every morning I have to make sure my dog gets something, whether it's, like, a, a, we, we have these meatballs, these dehydrated meatballs I get from realdogbox.com. So she has to just have something in her stomach. And if if she won't, if she doesn't eat in the morning, by 11 a.m., she'll throw up bile. So you got to, like, give her a treat to get something in her stomach. Now, this had a little bit of that in there, but I don't know. She's not. She usually doesn't vomit at 6 a.m. So I don't know what. I don't know. If my dog is sick, <laughs> I've had about enough of this. We might, I might put her down. I joked about it on, on, uh, Tukey's show Tuesday night, but I might put her down. Does anybody want a problem dog? <laughs> Does anybody just want a problem dog? Anyway, hit the like button. Today's going to be, uh, chaotic. We're going to answer questions. I banned flat cat, Jessica. I can't take it anymore. I can't take it anymore. Go away. Go away. Patrick, wasn't that reactive and unnecessary? Yes, yes. I've just had enough dumb. And she somehow she makes my cup runneth over with dumb on several fronts. I don't even, you know, it builds up. I don't even talk about it all. But just like, I've seen enough. Beat it. Beat it. Go, go haunt Kevin. I can't. I can't. I've had it with the fucking frumpy 50-year-old women in here trying to be my friend. You hear that, Skeddy Tooth? Oh, God. Where's my Monchichi? Monchichi, 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 Monchichi. 
Anyway, no, most of you are fine, but I can't anymore with uh, Flat Cat. She's got to find a new show. We're done here. I will. I will refund you your if you bought ticket a ticket to Hackamania or whatever. I, but I'm letting you know right now. I don't even know her real name, but if she's planning to like hang out and come to Hackamania and stuff, new, new, new. Beat it. Find a new show. I've had enough. I've had enough. I mean, it just, it's like, it's like a retarded carousel of retarded. That's too retarded. That's too retarded. And I don't need that around here when I, when, when it's demonstrably proven that women can act not retarded around me. Hi, Tiff. You know, we've got enough ladies in our chat who know the fuck what's going on and don't act like complete fucking spurgs. Thank you, MGD. Borderline for her. But you get the point. Not once have I ever gone like, MGD's out of here. Like, no, no, no. No, no, no. So I don't know. I, I, somebody just had to go today. It was flat cat. It, it is permanent. It is permanent. Don't come back. Find a new everything. And as soon as I get over to that Discord, she'll be gone too. She's blocked right now, and I haven't seen her tweets in months, but or her uh, posts in months, but she's gone. She's just gone. She's out of everything, and I don't want any advocates. I don't want any pleading for her. I don't want to get an email. I don't want it over. It just needed to happen. It's not right. She didn't really deserve it. But I don't, I don't care. I don't know. Not, there's no rationality over here. Someone needs to go today, and it's Flat Cat, you know? Just like someone needed to go yesterday at that Kansas City Chief Parade. Hello. Good morning, everybody. Imagine being the one person who died over there. Imagine there's 15 people shot, and you're the one that died. Oh, boy, that's embarrassing. So that so flat cat should feel the same as the guy who got shot in a parade yesterday. That's a fact. That's a fact. I have an appointment at the bank, but due to issues and problems that I deal with, I am unable to make it. I have an appointment at the bank, but Mubi controls the steel toe account, so I can't get at the money to run away with Mersh like we planned. I have an appointment at the bank, but just kidding. I don't have a bank account. I have an appointment at the bank to talk about financing my next project. Right here, called Cool Cat goes to his bank appointment. <laughs> I have an appointment at the bank to finance my next appointment, which is Cool Cat goes to the bank appointment. That's great. That's great. Acid dust that's flat cat's a good egg. Why I yada? Now, and people watching this show go, he's not serious. She'll be back. She's gone forever. It's not a bit. What is real? What is real? <laughs> okay, I've had a, I've had about enough silly today. Can we get real? No, I'm kidding. Of course, I'm in a great mood, um, despite my dog being leaky. Uh, <laughs> out of out of holes, I didn't know existed, but uh, we're doing good. Um, holy shit. Okay, addicted to ubiquity. Thank you for the two dollars. Late again. You're not wrong. Terry Nee, member for 11 months. You possess immense strength within you, Melton. Stay resilient. Keep pushing forward. You've got it. I wish more people would just give little shoves of encouragement. Can we do encouragement Thursdays? Can we can we give each other a hand and, and be positive? Now, you might be saying, Patrick, didn't you already start this out negative by banning flat cat? I, I'd, argue I st I'd argue I helped elevate the conversation in our chat by getting rid of this old out of it witch you know i was fooled like a lot of you in thinking this was like a person we wanted around but no 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 we can't we can't and we won't and we shan't and we shan't is shan't a contraction that people are using enough i don't think so ricky bev uh, he's on the Saito point, this, uh, beautiful, beautiful golden retriever in the avatar. 
Every time he gets it, he has diarrhea for a few days, but it saved him from clawing his skin off. I mean, this is a $115 injection every month. You, your dog might be worth that. Mine, I can assure you, is not. Maybe if I had paid full price for a golden doodle, but I got her on a I got her on sale. And I'll get another one, goddamn. If this one's broken and can't stop scratching, we'll put her down and get another one. I've got a pellet grill big enough for any dog. Bring it over. I mean, we close the lid, we fire up the pellet grill. You'll you gotta hold the lid down. You'll hear some scratching, but only for a few seconds. Once the hair catches on fire, it's over. These things burn up real, real quick. Almost like a Wagyu steak, which I also had last night. Vaping Dago, 20 gifted memberships. Thank you, Vaping Dago. Oh, my God, Vaping Dago. I don't think Vaping Dago made an appearance on any of our uh, live shows from, um, from Atlantic City. I don't think he... Uh, was watching any of them live. Maybe Vaping Dago can only do mornings. <laughs> I don't know. Um, oh, no, we got a call. Hello? I want your dog. Okay. Oh, is this Joey C? I want that, I want that dog to be my new pet. You you were you wanted me to, you wanted my dog to die. You were wishing all this harm on it. Maybe your curse worked. No, I didn't curse that dog. You did. You said, I um, hope it I dies. I hope it goes to hell. I hope that was it... before I became a reborn getting a Christian. I'm a reborn getting a Christian. <laughs> you do seem calmer. Are you on some sort of medication after you got out of the hospital? No, I'm, just, I'm a reborn again. I found God. Oh, God. It's even more pathetic. Let me Ooh. know when you find uh, Satan. Hail Satan. Hail Satan. I mean, imagine finding God. I was like, I was, I was looking up. There's, you ever like, you know, like, you know, there's points in your life where you like meet these nasty women who do nasty things to your penis. And sometimes you friend request them on Facebook. And like every time you're in town, these women continue to like want to do nasty things to your peen. And you like, it feels good. So you let them do it. Anyway, I'm seeing one of these nasty girls on Facebook that I used to do nasty things with, with my peen. And now she's all, like, constantly posting, like, Jesus memes and, like, you got to find God and you got to. And it's just like, do you remember how fucking gross? You were a nasty, nasty bitch. You were like a na And by the way, you know, I wasn't under any delusion that I was the only one being allowed into that. She's a nasty, nasty, nasty girl. And seeing her write all this stuff, it's just like, just, I mean, Jesus knows how dirty that rot pocket is, you know? Rot pockets! He knows. Jesus loves nasty women. Is that a good, uh, is that a good, uh, bumper sticker? Your gross peen turned her. Your gross dick turned her? <laughs> It's like when uh, you date a girl and she becomes a lesbian right after you. It's like, yikes. Not a good look for the old peen. I don't know if that's ever happened to me. Mr. Pan Antler, remember for seven months, flat cat band, happy in pants. It's just enough already. Get a new character. Uh, DK, 20 gifted memberships from DK, who I actually did get to meet. Um, nice guy. And then he, he had... Uh, bail on the weekend because of some uh personal business look this happens um i'm sure look he felt bad about it and i told him don't worry about it it's not his none of this is like serious so like oh we didn't get a clean constant tape of chad's awful stand-up set oh no <laughs> you know like handle your real life handle your real business but uh, no he hung out all night friday um dk and um Solid, real dude. These are real guys. Lance, Imhole EQs his mic so his voice sounds deeper. Um, no, I think he does. I, th I think he does a voice like this. I think he goes into this affectation. It's the steel toe 
voice. Do you think when he talks to April at the dinner table, he goes into a thing like this? No, this is a thing. We used to make fun of Mike David for doing this. It was so, it was so, I think this is where like Mike David's hatred for me came from. In like 2008 or nine, go back in the overdose and you can uh, hear this stuff. Nobody likes onions.com slash overdose. We used to, me and my friend, me and my co-host, Johnny B and Chef, we used to always like do Mike David's fake man cow radio voice. Oh yeah. (laughs) It was like, ugh. it was so obvious. And look, I think everybody, like to a to an extent, you hear it when I'm not. You hear the difference between this voice and like in AC when I'm like spent and tired and I come on. There is something to like a professional broadcast quality mic going through a professional, you know, lifter or you know, people put these cloud lifters or oral exciters and all these types of things in their chain, and it uh. It definitely can enhance the voice. It makes it, it makes it for, it makes it for a good, I don't, you know, I doubt he's got too much processing going on over there on steel toe, you know, but it could be true. Johnny Rockwell, give us an update on the chump versus the hump, the nerd versus the turd. Um, yeah, I'll give you an update. Well, we will get an update. Uh, rerun. Hey, babe. (laughs) Hey, babe. Is that Bob Levy? I talked to Bob yesterday. Finally, he's not mad at me. I told Bob Levy, I'll come on the Levy verse sometime. We'll go. I'll go over on the Levy verse one day. I don't, you know, I don't, I like Bob and I like uh, Kevin. They both, you know, been cool to me for the most part. Kevin can pretend like he hates, but he's just protecting himself. I, I, I feel love. You can have, you'll never convince me Kevin Brennan doesn't love me. That's why he's so passionate. That's why he cares so much to keep lying and lying. Uh, Wizard Nug, five gifted memberships. Thank you so much, uh, Wizard Nug. Oh, no, and I didn't even set up our uh, our uh, sponsor. Of the day. Fuck, I'm way out of it. I am way out of it. Oh, God. Who's today's executive producer? Hold on. Hold on. I've got it. I've got it. Ladies and gentlemen, today's executive producer, will this will this work? Thank you, Wizard Nug, though, by the way. Thank you very much. The executive producer for today, Brian Johnson, who I did get to meet um, in Atlantic City. I had no idea he was going to be there. So thank you, Brian Johnson and beautiful wife. Um, what was her name? Anne Frank? I get it mixed up. First of all, we have too many ladies in this universe with two two letters. We got Christina Marie, and I think we have Anne Marie, or Mary Ann, or Crazy, Crazy Anne. Anyway, a super nice guy. Thank you, Brian Johnson, and thank you to all, of course, the uh, high rollers. Who make this show possible? We couldn't do it without you, and just everybody who came out. It was it was Mary Beth. Thank you, Jesus. Christ. I I really struggle with that. I don't know why I have a real problem remembering Mary Beth. It's just so wholesome and old timey. I think is what it is. You know what I mean, beloved chatter. I was told I told Ray he was about to get clowned on this podcast. He grinned, giggled, and left going the exact wrong way. I figured so. I mean, look, (laughs) Ray's just fun. Ray's just fun to make fun of. Oh, God, Christina Marie is watching. I need Christina Marie to call into this program. The phone number's in the description. The phone number's pinned to the top of the chat. I need Christina Marie to call into this program. We were going to do a show with her in in Atlantic City because Chad, you know, ended up going on live and lying about her, basically. And she wanted to come on and set the record straight to let everybody know that Chad's the one who didn't want to see Melton in Atlantic City. It was not the other way around. The minute he found out she was hanging with us, with me, Chad was like, oh, I can't. I'll, you need to come up and meet me. I'm not going to. But Chad says, Melton ran for me twice. What a bitch. 
He can spin it any way he wants. He can have all the witnesses in the world. He can have text evidence that I was the one who didn't want to see Melton. He can, but fact is, he ran from me twice. We know. When the wind, rain, and thunder sail you, remember you are the storm. Wow. Uh, Christina Marie said, oh, well, yes, that's true. Please call in. I just want to get it on record. I don't, and I told you and I told Grant, I don't need you guys to tell anything but the truth. Flimsy Greenberg, Grant, Carl's brother, and Christina Marie, Carl's sister-in-law, Grant's husband. (laughs) It's not how she thinks of herself. She thinks of herself as Carl's sister-in-law. Trust me. (laughs) Um... Everyone sat there while Chad didn't want to come see me. I mean, it's so insane. There's no other way to spin that. I didn't le- literally Chad said said Melton ran from lunch when he found out I was coming. No, no, no. We stayed eating lunch. And Christina Marie and Grant had to go up and meet Chad because Chad didn't want to come down and see Melton. These are facts. These are real facts that really happen. Melton, you're a hack. Bob's a fucking idiot. Oh shit, my phone's ringing. Hi, honey. Listen, Kevin, quit playing motherfucking comedy podcaster and get you pale ass to the Waffle House for your night shift, you dumbass Mick. Jesus yes, Christ. Yes, dear, bye. So if you smear chocolate on a plate uh, mixed with tears, it means your black wife is ruining your life. Wow. I didn't know there was a sign at the IHOP for that. Flimsy Greenberg says, those are the facts, so help me God. Yeah, I mean, like, it's just insane. It's insane to think I would leave a room because I heard Chad was coming. And I guess that's what he's going with for the for the nighttime show, too, as if we didn't announce earlier as soon as we get audio or video of Chad's show. We'll be going live again to cover that. You're doing great, Patrick. Better than my cavernous fudge ditch. I need to see the doctor. Patrick, hang in there, buddy. I'll tell the bank you might be a, a little late today. We're all proud of the work you do, Patrick. Uh, Stevie Patrick, Trees makes a great point. The work you do. The work. Work you do. Patrick, work do. Patrick. Good, good. Um, imagine Melton running from lunch. That's true. Imagine me leaving lunch. Not going to happen. Boo Boo Kitty, you're doing a hell of a job. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. 56 memberships already in the show this morning. Thank you so much, you guys. You're amazing. Happy Encouragement Thursdays, dead in losers. That's a little backhanded. Acid dust. At least give Flat Cat a fish lunch before banning her. We got a fish lunch. She can have a fish. She can even have bubble guts from it. Bubble guts. The bubble guts. The bubble guts rocking to the beat. My dog had bubble guts. My dog had bubble guts this morning, and it was not good. Brian Johnson, Mary Beth, Frank Johnson, doxed. Doxed. Yeah, I met Brian Johnson's beautiful daughter. (laughs) Zing, she's younger than him. She's younger than him. Do you get it? All right, this is Carl's uh, sister-in-law. This is Christina Marie. Hi. Good morning. Now, I know we wanted to do this while we were there more for more effectiveness, but can you just recap what happened at that lunch in your own words and tell the whole truth? Don't beat around the bush. So um, I honestly didn't know that there was any issue between you and Chad. I didn't keep up with the Chad Melton verse part of the dabble verse. Um, so when I had told Chad that we were, uh, downstairs in that cafeteria area, I didn't say anything cause I didn't think there was an issue. Now, hold, and then on, I had- hold on. But up until, up until that point, he was coming to the hotel. He was going to skip registration and going to his room. He was coming yeah. straight to lunch. Yes. Yeah, so he said, Oh, since you're already down there, I'll just skip checking in and come straight down since you know, I, you're already there. I'll just come right there. I said, Oh yeah, that's, that's, that's great. And, um, Then I told you that Chad is coming down and you said, you might want to tell him I'm here since he's not very happy with me or something along those lines. Yeah. Well, I just, I know how Chad operates and I know he turns on people. So I said, if you don't tell Chad that I'm here, 
he'll accuse you of oh. am- ambushing him. I, I just was looking that out was for you. Said. Right. I, I just wanted, yeah, that's, that's if it. you don't tell Chad that I'm here, he'll be like, what is this? You guys set me up to meet Melton? That's very true. That is very true. You were trying, you, you honestly were trying. Yes, correct. So I worded it to him. Um, you know how I am. I, I tried to be politically correct. And I, I said, I, I didn't know there was an issue. Melton's down here. And he sent the text or the, the message back that you posted that said, I'm not ready to see Melton yet. Um, so then we decided to meet upstairs. So what he said was not true. You didn't run. And actually you did stay downstairs when I went upstairs. So had we come straight down, um, you probably would have still been there, but we were upstairs for a little bit and uh, whoever went what way but went just, what just way. Just to be clear, was Chad funny. was the one who didn't want to be where I was. Correct. Okay. That's all 100% I need. Correct. That's all I And need. you posted it and I, I saw the comments under it and someone said that could be fake. And you said, yeah, you're right. Who's Melton? Who's Melton anyway? I'm fake too. <laughs> right. It was, it was insane. It was and, and and people in the chat are saying you sound very wholesome and stuff. I I couldn't agree more. I I really do worry oh. about you. You should talk to Skinny Tooth John. I, I you will get turned on by this guy. Yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm uh, just gonna sit back and and watch and listen from now on. I I think I've and real, been burned. Real, uh, real quick, you also you did come down later and eat second lunch with Chad or watch him eat lunch. Can you describe uh, how that went? <laughs> well, just um, tell the just tell the truth. What did he What did he get and how did he eat it? Okay, so this is, I mean, it's the truth, and it's coming from a caring perspective, not a gossiping perspective. I don't have any ill will towards anyone. Um, My family is the kind of family where we're Italian, we feed people, we love everyone. That's just how I was brought up. So that's why I love everyone. Let me put that out there. But we were downstairs, and Chad had gotten lunch. Um, And I told Chad from like months ago, I said, I want to take you out to lunch. So I said, I'm going to pay for it. And Chad said, no, I'll pay for it. And, you know, I said, no, I told you a while back I'd pay for your lunch. So I I bought Chad lunch. Um, And we were chatting while he was eating, but he was having a hard time because he was shaking a lot. And later on, I did talk to the gentleman called the sorcerer, who is a a PhD, about that um, because I was curious so many people had mentioned alcohol but the the man that is a phd had also mentioned there might be other um situations other than alcohol that could cause that but anyways he was shaking so badly it was very difficult for him he was eating a burrito he was eating a burrito with a fork is what you told me and as it came up to his mouth stuff would fall off the fork he was shaking so bad yeah it was terrible oh my god (laughs) And then I also, Flimsy Greenberg's in the chat, and several other people verified this, that when they shook his hand that night, like after the show, buying a shirt and stuff, that he was trembling, trembling. Yeah, I didn't. I thought it might have been nerves, but I think um, there's a deeper-rooted issue, and he may, I don't know about the insurance situation with people who are 1099, but he may want to... uh, be looked at all right all i wanted that's all i wanted is you to verify and again flimsy was there everybody saw it i didn't run from chad at lunch he was the one who literally said i can't come down if melton's there absolutely and i do have to tell you something else were you hanging out at all oh no you you were not near stuttering john at all that's good. I was there all. I was, I, I was I was one not. foot from stuttering John on Sunday all day long. We were around John all day Sunday. Okay. Um. Well. Okay. So, his entire room is COVID infected. So. Yeah. Oh, you mean Vince John, and John, and Vince, and Stevie Lou, and. Uh, Vinny the lawyer, John, uh, Dan. Don, Dan, Hitman Don, Hitman Dan. Don came down with it and she was in the room. So you can't say, I mean, they were all, they're all, what do you call that? Um, Contact. What do they say when they're around COVID? Trace, contact tracing. Well, whatever. I don't know. But so that's going to be another one of those super spreader bullshit things. I mean, there's no super spreaders. COVID's over. Let's get over it. 
Yeah. I'm home from work because I'm sick. Well, God bless. And just thank you for telling the truth. That's all I want. <laughs> it's like he, he can't. He literally said that you said Melton ran from lunch when he heard you were coming. He like put words in your mouth, yeah. which just didn't. Oh, happen. yeah, that was absolutely false. That was absolutely false. One hundred percent not true. And then he said, you're a little bitch. You are nothing. If not a stand up man, you are not a little bitch. You would have faced anybody. And it's not because you're ready to fight. It's because you're ready to discuss facts and understanding. And right. And it is, you are an absolute opposite of what he was explaining. And I, th- that was just like, oh my God, I can't believe I thought we talked about this. And um, yeah, that was kind of crazy. All right. Beat it, you bitch. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, thank you. Okay. Thank you for uh, it was great <laughs> seeing you guys again. And I hope to see you guys out here in Vegas uh, too. Yeah, it was awesome seeing you. We really enjoyed hanging out with you. You're the best. Thank you. Enjoy your wrath of Chad. You will be getting a wrath now. Oh, my God. I'm so so stuffy. I'm so stuffy. Uh, (laughs) All right. Thank you, Christina. Bye. Um, So just so you know, Chad will turn on her now. 100% ask Getty Tooth John. That was just an accurate. Again, she has to come do that because Chad lied about her. Do you understand? It's like Chad creates these scenarios where nobody can win around Chad. Something happens. Chad acts like a pussy. Chad has to go out and control the narrative and tell everybody, no, no, it wasn't black. It was white. Melton ran from lunch. As if there's not three people there and text evidence to corroborate it. Go on Twitter on NLO. I posted Christina Marie's texts with Chad that she sent me where Chad said, I can't see Melton this soon. But guess what? He walked by hours later while we were in the bar, and we all screamed out Mud Shark, and he couldn't handle Melton then either. And then he didn't show up at the bar until we were live on a stream. And when, and he didn't show back up at the bar until we were off the stream. And then when he saw uh, uh, Rocco at the bar, he left immediately. Even Kevin, after the incident with Bob, couldn't find Chad. Remember Kevin saying on MLC, where were you? Where'd you go? No, the stream was over, so Chad fucking bailed. This is Chad wants you to believe that everyone had this big party in the bar and we ran from it upstairs to do a show. We did a 90-minute show. We were upstairs for 90 minutes. Talk about all weekend long we were in that bar. I, I tweeted we were in that bar. We sat there for hours and hours and hours while Chad was in his room in the afternoon for hours. Chad was in that bar for one hour. Patrick, you said you guys were gone for 90 minutes. No, no, I was. But Chad was down there in that bar for one hour. And then he went and ate for 30 minutes or more, came back, missed the whole Bob thing. And then once he saw Rocco, who he knew was on stream with me, he immediately left the bar. By the time I got down, I was wrapping up the show and stuff. All those guys went down, I don't know, 15 minutes before me. By the time I went down and got to that bar, no one was there. No one. So Chad can spin it any way he wants. We were available all weekend long. The same way stuttering John, because like Melton didn't want to face me. I was three feet from John all weekend long. If he really wanted to fight, he could have fought. Nobody ran from John. I We're standing right by him all day, all day long. And he would just keep turning and going, you ready to say you're sorry? And we go, fuck your kids, John, and laugh and laugh. And that was it. It happened all day long. This idea that anyone went up to the room to run away is insane. I, first, first things first, I came there to, to do shows and keep everybody updated about what's going on. Second of all, that was the main most important show we were going to do was Saturday night after Chad's show going over Chad's set. This is what we came for in essence. So to project it any other way, uh, Chad was available in the Borgata for one hour. And the minute he knew we were done streaming, he went upstairs. All afternoon, 30 of us in the bar Saturday. I tweeted it. Chad walked by. We all yelled mud shark. Chad just head down, kept kept walking. It's just there's no other way to spin it, Chad. I was available. 
You ran the minute my stream was over. Kevin couldn't find you to say goodbye. Uh, why are you getting all of this praise? Uh, don't fret. I still hate your face, uh, Mr. Panhandler. And that's fair. That's fair. The secret of success is learning how to use pain and pleasure instead of having pain and pleasure use you. If you do that, you're in control of your life. If you don't, life controls you. Tony Robbins. <laughs> Keep away from people who try to belittle your ambitions. Small people always do that, but the really great make you feel that you too can become great. The great Mark Twain. I don't know if these are uh, real. My mentor, Albert Einstein, said great spirits have always encountered violent opposition from mediocre minds. And fuck Chad Zuma. The pauses are too long. I don't know if these are meant to be genuine advice for me or I'm supposed to make fun of the fact that Jake Hudson knows half these words. The Lords of Vegas have descended on the city. Few know of the tales of the city, and even less have lived to tell them. Free play, Buffets, AIDS infested prostitutes, Buffets, Femboys, and that was just on the way from the airport. Merch, you, know, you must teach me the way. I packed up my uh, uh, bicycle and, and split town last night. No more ba basketball Americans for me, just Latinx prostitutes covered in man milk. I would be totally down for this, but I have an appointment at the bank. I, too, would be totally down. Alas, I, too, have an appointment at the bank. Total guy stuff, I am ready. See what you can fit in there. Is that guy stuff? Uh, thank you again to Brian Johnson for gifting 10 memberships. Jennifer Bentley um, doxed. He's uh, Jason Bentley's wife. Beautiful, beautiful people. I mean, so, so nice. Not only, like generous you know but like just good like down-to-earth people like regular fucking people i don't know what they're doing in this part of the world frankly i don't know what they're doing in this corner of the internet they're gonna get hurt they're gonna get hurt the bentleys <laughs> just too nice. you ever meet people and they're just like too nice that's the same way i feel about grant and christina marie it's like what are you doing here what the fuck are you doing here? Childbearing hips. This is my favorite dabble burst show. You're, you got a problem. You got a problem. Jason Bentley said story confirmed again. Fuck Chad Zuma. Yeah, I mean, I, I, uh, I think it was Beloved Chatter who I was having this conversation with. And, you know, Beloved Chatter, he's got a lot of flaws and a lot of problems, you know, but those are just physical. Um... You know, decent mind. But I was talking to him, and he said something that I never really thought about before. But he's like, you know, these guys who are like Chad's age or older, and they're not really like technically inclined, these Luddites, uh, they come from a time where they, they're just used, you know, Chad back in 2008 could tell anybody anything at a bar he wanted. And they had to believe it. You know, nobody could just whip out their phone and look it up. And even if they could back then, like Twitter was just, uh, you know, just being born and the iPhone had just come out. So, like, you know, unless you wanted to whip out your, your T9 WAP phone and try to search for something and verify it and then scroll three lines of text at a time through your, uh, through your Nextel Motorola phone... There was really no way to, like, verify stories and prove things. You couldn't screenshot texts or or anything like that. So so Chad's used to, like, just telling lies. He used to just saying anything in the world and be like, yeah, spin it however you want. Melton ran from lunch. It's like three people were there, and they're all here. <laughs> they're all here. And they're all saying no, that didn't happen. And then we have text messages that prove that Chad was the one who ran. Chad was coming. You tell me. You tell me. Maybe it's not running. Maybe it's not running. Avoiding? Canceling? He was coming down to lunch. He found out I was there, and then he didn't want to come down to lunch. Is that mountain running? I'm not sure. Is that mountain running? Is that what it is? Okay, Christina Marie, you are done. I will find which Chipotle you work at. I will ruin your existence. 
when I'm done with you, you won't even be able to afford a fish lunch. We got a fish lunch. You won't. Kevin, get these motherfucking bicycles out of my motherfucking hallway. I'll do it later. It's a mon it's not a huffy, it's a mongoose. <laughs> that was the best one. If you missed it this weekend, we had some pretty amazing uh voice chats. This one being one of the favorites. God damn it, Kevin. I told you 20 fucking times to keep that pussy ass helmet off my countertop. Lord Jesus, scuff marks all over my goddamn floor like I ain't got nothing to do all day. Huffy faggot. I ain't trying to live in the X games. It's not a huffy, it's a mongoose. Mongoose, you talking about birds now? If somebody put your brain in a parrot, the motherfucker would fly backwards. Dear God, make me a bird so I can fly far, far, far away from here. Uh, Leo Gunn makes a great point. Imagine not being in BTC right before the halving. I mean, look, guys, the fact is Bitcoin's up $12,000 since I left last week. <laughs> I've told you all. I've told you all, take an affordable amount of money that you can afford to kiss goodbye. $5 a week, $5 a month, you pours, $10 a month. If you're not buying Bitcoin, you're out of your mind. Come with us. Don't you want to have money? Aren't you sick of not being Jason Bentley? Wouldn't you love to be able to send $20 super chats, $50 super chats, not worried about affording toothpaste and canola oil? Do you like being poor? I guess just keep buying gold. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Gold's a fine investment. You diversify. Have some stocks. By all means, put some money in your Schwab account. But are you not? I mean, I, I don't know. Muted Growl, if you listen to Pat like me, you'd be up 50%. Crumb Bum's been doing 25 a week for three weeks. Congrats. Congrats. And by the way, the, the, the real uh, test will come when it drops. I, I'm, I'm telling you right now, you're going to ride it high all the way up to whatever the high is this time, 100,000, 150,000. It's, it's going to go up there. Trust me. It's going to go there. When it crashes back to 50, do not panic and sell. Just hold it. We all saw it get to 63,000 in 2020 or whatever, 2021, and crash back down to 17,000. And the panicky amongst us went and sold. You got to learn. You got to learn to ride. They're very extreme swings, and it's very volatile. And it will get less and less as it gets more stable, but you got to have a, a better stomach than my dog, okay? you got to really hold on to this stuff. Don't let it. I mean, come on, everybody. You'll, you'll buy AT&T. You'll trust the stock market and the banks, all these men that do nothing but lie to you, but you won't throw a little bit of alternative uh, investing into some crypto. I And, and, and you know, everybody, crypto is just a tainted word now. I'm not talking about crypto. I'm talking about Bitcoin specifically bitcoin don't don't worry about cardano and ethereum and shitcoin and dogecoin and pl pl plumpy nut don't worry about any of that stuff just buy the bit okay i've i've had enough i've had enough detroit by dark says i bought one at 14k and held um uh, it dropped from 48k to 39k in a couple of weeks. Now it's 52. Right, you got it. You've just got to be able to stomach the swings. And again, people, a lot of people don't understand Bitcoin. Like, I don't have 48k. How am I going to buy one? You can buy fractional pieces of a bit. Don't worry about it. Buy, buy ten dollars of Bitcoin. The same way you can buy ten cents of a dollar. You can buy ten percent of a Bitcoin. I, I've had enough. I'm not here to like. Uh, this isn't an investment show. I'm not a banker. This isn't advice. But you're all going to be poor unless you listen to Leo Gunn and me and me. Um, I got, I, I, we have so much stuff to do. <laughs> we have so much stuff to do. I'm not a financial advisor, but I am advising you financially, if that makes sense. I think you're dumb if you're not in Bitcoin. But, you know. That's just me.
That's just me. Is it possible to create a shit coin that won't pump and dump? Yeah, I mean, you can literally make an analog of Bitcoin. The thing about the thing about it now is it's, you know, you can programmatically design these coins to do different things and behave different ways. Um but that's why Bitcoin's such like an OG, like it's not it's not a shit coin. It's not manipulated. There's nobody really behind I mean, look. I'm done talking about it. You get it. You get it. All right, we got Chad and Steel Toe to do today. I doubt we'll get through it. We've already busted a nut on almost an hour of the show. Hit the like button. I do. I would be uh, remiss to not talk about Kevin a little bit here at the top of the show. First of all, Kevin's just as nutty as ever and can't stop lying about shit and making shit up. I think some of it's inadvertent, but some of it's 100% protective and, and uh, copy, for lack of a better word. For instance, like Kevin retells the story like Melton said he would do my show. And I was like, easy, let's hold, let's see. It's like, that's not the way it went down. What I said to Kevin was, I never said I wouldn't do your show. And then, and then, by the way, we had a long discussion where he's like, I know, I know. I just got to give you notice. But I, I try to, you know, sometimes I throw the show together last minute and I don't, we had a whole discussion about it. He's rational as fuck in person. He knows I never said I wouldn't do his show. He knows I will do his show if he ever, like, sends me enough. And I told him and Bob the same thing. The reason I didn't want to do either of your shows when you guys had a falling apart, I like both of you. I'm not going to be used as a tool. I'm not going to be used as leverage. I'm not going to take sides on this. I'll go on Bob's show, and, and Kevin will fucking hate it and call me a traitor. But, but Bob's never once sent me a, a message because I went on Kevin's show. Like, oh, you like Kevin better? I don't have a fucking problem with any. I don't, you know, I think you're all fucking retarded and nuts. You hear that, Bob? <laughs> he doesn't. I'm safe. He's on a show. No, I'm retarded and nuts. We're all retarded and nuts, but I don't, you know, I know that Kevin turning on everybody is like just almost manufactured at this point. I watched him go after Shuli with no real cause other than jealousy. I watched him go after Bob with no real cause other than jealousy you know kevin does these attacks where he tries to turn people and make them choose these ultimatums he did it to ray until ray got so uncomfortable with the shuli and now look the shuli network was like abusing ray but so's kevin but he was forced into a corner and had to choose and, and he chose to get rid of the shuli network he thought he could kevin thought he could do the same thing to bob and you know eventually bob got had such an even keeled temperament about it that it just came to a head and Bob quit. It was causing Bob too much stress and anxiety, I guess. You know, of course, that was when Chad was on the outs and attacking everybody, too, because Chad wanted to be in MLC so bad but didn't know how to use his words. I don't want to be on MLC. It's all I want. It's all I want. I need to be back with Daddy. <laughs> and Chad attacks anybody who starts going on MLC and doing well, from Ski Mask to Stevie Lou to Ray to me to Pat Dixon, to Bob Levy, anyone who's taking his spot next to daddy at the throne, you know, Chad gets really, really mad about. Chad knows deep down inside he doesn't have what it takes to, like, run a show or host a show. He, he feels best at home on MLC where he can be under the watchful eye and protection of Kevin. You know, he's the, he's the stepdad that Chad Chad never had. Sure, he hits him over the head with a coffee mug every once in a while. Sure, he doesn't respect him. Sure, he thinks he's a loser, but he gives him money. And every once in a while, he protects him from meanies like Melton and Ray. And that's where we're at. That's where we're at. With Kevin with a giant golf umbrella just holding it over Chad's head, protecting him from the rainstorms of life, the, the hail of, of, of hate. From Melton and Ray and the rest of the internet. That's where we're at. That's where we're at. Chad can do no wrong. Chad can team up with Gino. Chad can, Chad can make threats. Chad can insult his family. Chad can do anything he wants. Chad's at the right hand of the father. <laughs> Sorry to get biblical. 
You know, but if if Ray wants to go to a show with Melton or Pat Dixon wants to go to a show with Melton, that's that's off limits. That's off limits. And also, you know, in person, a lot of the things that Kevin pretends to be upset about, like Melton making fun of his wife and all that kind of stuff, like that doesn't even come up because it's not real. It's not real. Kevin does have to manufacture three to four hours of anger every day, so he has to pull it out of his asshole. You think Kevin... If it, let me just ask you this: If I made fun of your wife and then you saw me in person and you really, really were upset about it, wouldn't you bring it up? No, 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 no. Kevin and I joked around all day Sunday. He was laughing about the picture that got posted. You're not retarded. You can go look at the picture and see that he didn't get ambushed and he posed for it. Yeah, I did go. Hey, Kevin, let's take a picture. But then he smiled and looked at the camera. Broccoli can say he got ambushed all he wants. I mean, ambushed meaning what? You did? There wasn't a scheduled photo shoot? I can't. I can't. Sorry to get wristy on you. Ticker 747474. Can't speak on Chad, but Sunday you sat by John all night and dealt with his lackey CrossFit Jesus. Uh, also got a pic of you smoking a ciggy right behind John. I, again, I was three feet from John all day. John could have attacked me all day, hit me all day. Some some moments I was one foot away from him. Some moments he was sitting in a chair. We were standing in front of him having a conversation. John, I I take it back. John didn't want to fight. If John wanted to fight, he could have fought. You know, and he's still confused about his emotions. John flies back to to uh, L.A. and he's like, you know what? I don't care if anybody makes fun of my son. But then he goes on on uh, MLC yesterday and he's like, you want to make fun of my children? It's like which. Is it the biggest deal ever, or is it not a big deal at all? Which is it? Which is, like, you've got to pick one, you old stupid fuck. <laughs> like, you can't say you're not going to get upset about it anymore and keep getting upset about it. I mean, God, I then he was talking, talking to, was it Ray or something yesterday? I don't even know. I turned it off. But I literally watched, I was talking to people, one hour of MLC is all you need. And then it's just going to get repetitive, and you'll find out if anything else happens, but. I watch one hour of MLC, and then it just starts looping. But John just has this thing like, you trashed Vince's kids. You trashed his kids. It's like, trashed? This guy's such a fucking old out of it fuck. First of all, I don't even know Vince. Hey, Vince, fuck your children. Fuck your underage children. Those stupid fucks. They're losers. He's like, they call they call his kids losers. It's like, who cares? Who cares, Vince? Don't show that video to your children. I don't even know their names. I, I'm doing this for a point. You think Vince, the lawyer, gives a fuck if somebody says, fuck your children, Vince? Who cares? Who cares? What a dumb, dumb thing to worry about and uh, fret about. Look, Melton. At my bank appointment, I invested 1,000 big ones in a CD at 4% interest, which will mature in five years. That's $40. Beat that. Fuck. Uh, Jason Bentley, Bitcoin. <laughs> uh, Bitcoin may be good, but we can discuss the de benefits of a reverse mortgage. Are you already thinking about that at your age? <laughs> a reverse mortgage. Hi, I'm Wilford Brimley with... Uh, Colonial Pen. <laughs> Is that what's the company? A reverse mortgage. You planning to die in about 10 years and you out of money? Eh, sell your home slowly back to the bank for less than it's worth and a horrible interest rate. I'd like to tell you more about reverse mortgages. Hello. Hello. Hey, this is Vince's children. We are watching Fatty Pay. Fuck you. Fuck. <laughs> Vince's children are very upset with me. First of all, Vince is like, I look, I hear Vince is a giant piece of shit, but he loves trolling these smaller shows like MLC. And, uh, oh, you want to insult Kevin? Just keep calling his show a smaller show. Amongst the Dabbleverse shows, it's one of the smaller shows. I think we can all agree. MLC. I'm just telling you that this is a voice chat and it is real. It is a real voice chat. They... My father who art in New Jersey, curmudgeon be thy name. Thy super chats come 
Thine bills will be done at home as it is at the Borgata. Give me this day my daily bread and forgive my trespasses against your family as I forgive those who have told the truth about me. Shut up, you piazza. And then uh, uh, I got to be clear about this, too. There's another one of Kevin's fucking. I don't even think he was lying about this. I think he just mistaked people. And I can't remember who was looking at Kevin's numbers on his phone with me. But I have to I have to make this very clear. I was so uncomfortable with this. When he was pulling out his phone, he's like, I, I didn't I didn't approach Kevin all weekend. Kevin said, Melton's gonna come up to me and pretend like it's all cool. It's not. I it's not. I hate you. I'm not your friend. So I heard that and I respect Kevin Brennan. So I you know, and I respect anybody who's like, Don't come up to me, don't approach me, leave me alone. Okay. Fair enough. I did not go up to Kevin Brennan. I did not approach Kevin Brennan uh, Saturday night when we saw him before the fight. And I did not go up to Kevin Brennan. I did not approach Kevin Brennan uh, Sunday when I saw him. Now, Rocco saw him Saturday night after the fight, and he asked, is Mountain looking for me? Is Mountain going to hit me? I mean, this is where these guys are at. All I've done is tell you that I'm not mad at you. I'm not going to hit you. No one's coming to fight you. And you can't stop worrying about it. And just like I predicted, Kevin Brennan's full of shit about this security. We all, we all know that. So Sunday, you know, we're, he, Kevin shows up at the bar. He's talking to everybody. We're standing a few feet apart. Kevin comes over to me, leans into me, and he's like, so, hey, uh, what happened with Bob? How come he didn't do a show with Bob? That's how he started the conversation. And I almost went, oh, are we cool? You're coming up to me like everything's cool and it was a work and we're friends? You know, because old hypocritical Kevin said I would do that to him. No, it's real. I have a real problem. Don't even come up to me, fatty patty. But then you, but then Kevin, but then Kevin came up. So, uh, so Melton... <laughs> And Bentley saw this. Bentley was sitting right there beaming. You know, Bentley wants us to get along. And so he was so happy and giddy after this. I mean, I swear to God, he, he probably just came in his pants. Just just Atlanta Falcon right down his fucking jorts. <laughs> Got the Vic drip. <laughs> Michael Vick still associated with the Atlantic Falcons. Is that good? Is that good? So anyway, um, Kevin and I talked for, I don't know, a while there. And then he pulls out his phone. And he's like, I'm going to show you the numbers. And again, Kevin, Kevin has never, ever, ever, ever understood the argument. Kevin has never, ever, ever, ever understood the bet. Kevin is fixated on this pivot point in time of Bob Levy leaving the show. I don't know why, but he is. His whole thing keeps revolving around. My numbers went up after Bob left. So he pulled out this app. I said, I can't believe you're pulling. Like, I don't want to see your bank. Like, it really was uncomfortable for me. I don't want to see Bob Le or uh, Kevin Brennan's bank app. But he pulls it out. He starts showing the YouTube deposits. I barely look at it. I can remember a couple numbers, like ballpark. But it wasn't like he went comprehensively through and was like, this was June, this was July, this was August, this was September. He he showed a couple months that he said, look, and I didn't verify. I, I He was scrolling so fast and stuff, I didn't see dates. I didn't see, I saw amounts, and I heard what he was telling me it was. So, like, in a court of law, if I, like, in all honesty, if I was pressed to like prove anything or or verify, I, I really couldn't. I really couldn't. It was so cringe to me that this was happening. I could not believe a grown man was pulling out his bank up. Anyone there saw this going down can verify how uncomfortable I was with this. It was insane. And I can't remember who was next to me. I want to think it was Ray Kavanaugh and somebody else, but I can't be sure. I can't be, I really can't be sure. And whoever it was, they were very interested in it, and they kept going through it and asking him, what are these other transactions? And somehow Kevin attributed that to me. Melton was looking at my bank, and then he started asking me about other transactions and stuff, and I was like, Jesus, that's private. It's like, 
That never happened. That never, ever, ever, ever happened. Like, I just, like, it did not. I did not look at another man's bank and go, and, what, and what's this one? And what's that? It's just insane. I, I, I It's just insane. Like, I, that never, ever, ever happened. And I definitely didn't ever say that his numbers went up every month since Bob Levy. This has been, I think I worded it ambiguously or or in a poor way that led people to believe that but i i never ever said and i and again i don't know what month was what he was just pointing things and saying stuff and i thought it was so ridiculous because i genuinely don't care about numbers all this i told him and he knows he goes i'm like man i'm just chipping you i don't give a fuck about your numbers you kept screaming about your numbers so we kept screaming about your numbers and then you said you'd show them and i said show them and then you said why should i show them make a bet so I made a bet, and then you were like, why is he making a bet? It, it was outlandishly comical. Just watching you. It's like Steel Toe making the boxing challenge and say he didn't make the boxing challenge, then changing the terms of the boxing challenge, and, and then saying, no, Melton back down. To the. It's like, I mean, sure, man. At this point, like, we had our fun. We watched you crumble and back backpedal, and that's what it was. But I don't like that where he like tries to he tries to reframe everything like where he's got the upper hand. Melton asked to do my show and I was like, easy. It's like, no, 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 I didn't. No, I didn't. I said I would I never said I wouldn't do it. That's what I said. And then he goes, when this is how it went. He actually goes, when? And I go, when do you want me to do it? You just gotta give me notice. And he went, I know, I know. That was the conversation. But when Kevin retells it, he's got the upper hand. Melton said he wanted to do my show, and I was like, easy, Haas. It's like, okay. Melton was looking at my bank account, and then after I showed him the YouTube numbers, he was like, and what, what's this at Chipotle? What's this at Ross Dress for Less? <laughs> I, I don't even think, I don't know, and I can't speak either way to this. I'm not, I never said his numbers went up every month after Bob left, like, like, let's just use example numbers. If he made 1000 in, in August, he made 2000 in September, 3000 in October, 4000 in November, 5000 in December. I, I, I don't know that. I don't know that they always went up. But in general, if what he was showing me was what he was saying, and again, I didn't see dates. I wasn't looking. I would look over and go like, okay, okay, okay. It was so cringe. But I can say... The numbers he pointed at and showed and said this is July or or whatever were lower than the numbers he pointed at and said this is October, November. So in general, the numbers were higher later in the year. That is a fact. I can verify that. So everybody in the chat going like he shut you up, he he won the bet. No, no. It's just a fundamental lack of understanding of what I'm talking about. I'm still saying your current numbers are down. <laughs> but we don't have the current numbers. We have no numbers from 2024. You know, we won't get January numbers until until this month. My only my whole thing like with winning the bet was just saying like your numbers currently right now are less than any of those months you're showing me from 2023. Okay? That's all I'm saying. If your number was was 10,000 in, in November, I'm saying it's less now. If your number was 10,000 in December, I'm saying it's less now. If your number was 10,000 in September, I'm saying it's less now. Both things are true. Both things are true. They're two different bets. He's stuck on, did my numbers go up after Bob? I don't know why it's so important to him that that point in time, Bob. Because <laughs> I guess he really has his animosity to Bob. So both things can be true. His numbers did generally get higher after Bob. Confirmed. I if if again, I can't I don't know what he made every month or whatever. I wasn't really but what he showed and what he said it was those numbers were bigger than the numbers that he said were earlier in the year. That is I don't think he was lying about it. I I again, cursory glance. But um I do believe they got higher later in the year. So so what he's crowing about is true. But what he's crowing about has never been what I would, wanted to bet. 
That's that's just again he's not listening. I'm not I've never said your numbers went down after Bob. That's never been my bet. I'm betting they're currently down. And then we have proof of that. We actually have proof of that now because of this neglected John's neglected cat. Who again will get called a melting simp or something, but um I don't know who's whose camp this guy, John Neglected Cat, is in, but this is the I mean the numbers is down. The numbers is down. Here's uh just real quick. Bink. This guy's doing like every fucking day. And like it or not, if this is to be believed, the Shuley Network is crushing uh MLC, but only because they do two shows a day, really. But look at this. I got to get out of the way, huh? This is net. I mean, Shuley's making almost twice as much as MLC. This guy's been tracking it for a while. February 14th, Valentine's Day numbers. The net. Uncle Rico, 604. Stuttering John, 215. MLC, 711. BS Show, 161. Steel Toe, $39, $68. This guy's counting everything. This guy's counting everything. So we're both right. I mean, we're both right. The numbers are down. The numbers are down. Currently. Currently. Look at this sad steel toe stuff. Twenty uh thirty-nine dollars for their show. This is an MLC five hour show. Kevin made seven hundred dollars. And has to pay three guests and Adam. This is stuttering John. Two hundred and fifteen dollars net. I mean, this guy's counting it every day. This is uh, neglected underscore cat NY on on uh, Twitter. He's doing this every day. BS show, one hundred and sixty one dollars. And don't you might go, Patrick? Where's yours? I've asked him. He won't do it. I've asked him. I I think he's starting a staff business. He's gonna charge me. He said he literally goes in our Discord yesterday. I will never count. Nobody likes onions numbers. It's like why not? You're going to make me pay for these stats. <laughs> like, these are useful. I'd actually want to know. I, I'd want to know and track my own thing. I, got, I, I, it, <laughs> I guess I can't. February 13th numbers. Look at this. This is Tuesday. Net, 1100 for Uncle Rico, 300 for John, 650 for MLC. 220 for a BS show. Like, Shuley is. Now, this is a third party county. Shuley's making more. He says he's pulling these from the YouTube API, so they're accurate. They do not count. He says at the beginning, you do not count Streamlabs, PayPal, things like this. But you got people in the chat right now going, like, I don't believe any of these numbers. It's like, okay. Pick a random, I, I would say this, pick a random show that you don't believe. Like, there's no way Kevin made 650 bucks. And then just go just go back and watch that show. He puts them all on the screen and add them up. If, if you pick a random one, go back and check it with what goes on the screen, and it adds up, you can probably trust them all. You know? So that's what I would say. Perform your, perform your own little spot audit if you don't believe it. I'm I'm certainly not going to go through. This is another one of Chad's lies. We already heard one Chad lie today. While we're while we're here, why not listen to another one? Watch this. Watch Chad lie about this. He can't ever lie. He can't ever tell the truth about how much money he makes. He always has to up it. Merch. He put it in his store. So oh, he was so drunk. Melton did my merch. He put it in his store, so people go to his store. He sent me a check for two hundred and thirty-one dollars. Venmo for $231. Fuck Mountain's merch. Fuck it. 
So Chad made $162 total on his merch. To a wishes it was 241 or whatever. I mean, so when he tells you he made $500 at a gig or 300 at a gig, you know it was less. Chad lies about how much money he makes. Period. Period. I mean, it's just, like, again, he, he thinks that there's no receipts. February 13th, Stuttering John. All right, let's go back. Let's keep going. Let's dig in a little deeper. February 10th. Four thirty one for Uncle Rico, four ninety seven for MLC, two forty nine a BS show. Now look again, Shuli has to do two shows, but it is higher than Bob, or it is higher than Kevin. And when you factor in, like you know, Kevin did how long of a show? Three hour show, five hundred bucks. I'm when we the last time I counted Kevin's actual numbers was uh when Chad was doing Mud Shark Loves Misery he was getting 2000 2400 2700 a show massive now these are gross but even so it it results in 1500 to 2000 net all I'm saying is the numbers are down across the board this goes for the BS show and Uncle Rico, too. They're just down. They're down. We're, uh, uh, everyone, everything that everyone's saying is true. We're just making two different bets. Kevin's always wanted to bet. Bet me my numbers didn't go up after Bob. Yes, they did. My bet is numbers are down. That's all I've ever said. The numbers are down. <laughs> Currently. When I say are, that implies current. Were would mean past. Kevin's numbers, the numbers were up after Bob. Yes. But the numbers are down from what they were, is what I'm saying. And again, both can be true if you just want to stop and uh, and uh, argue. But again, I think he just wants Bob to know the numbers went up. And, and this is what Kevin said to me. He goes, so if Bob wants to take me to court for the money, I'll be able to prove that he was holding me back and my numbers went up. And so he he should actually owe me money because he was costing me money. And I said, Kevin, just because your numbers went off when Bob went away doesn't mean that was the reason they went up. There's a lot of factors. And he goes, yeah, but there's a lot of factors in everything. Okay. So, yes, Kevin is right. The numbers went up after Bob. He He proved that. But I am also right, and the numbers are down, and John's neglected cat proved that. But Kevin is still doing very well. And Kevin Kevin acts like he doesn't care what people think. He told me he does. He goes, Shuley thinks they're down. He keeps telling people they're down. Carl keeps telling people my numbers are down. And he said, it's because of you. You're their ringleader. <laughs> I, I don't talk to Shuley. Shuley's a fucking asshole. But but I'm Shuli's ringleader now? Okay. <laughs> then I said, why do you care? Who cares? He goes, I do. I do care. He told me that the internet used to be fun, but now that people won't stop lying about him, it's not fun. So I hope the trolls don't do anything with this. Kevin's not having fun on the internet anymore, guys. Kevin told me he wishes he could quit Twitter because it's not fun anymore. He used to like it, and now he doesn't because everyone's lying about him. And we all laughed and just said, that's the internet. But this is real. He said these words to me. I don't even have fun on the internet anymore because everyone's lying about me. Fuck. <laughs> so please stop lying about Kevin. Weak time out. Weak time out. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. By the way, Tigger7474. Uh, 7474. Seven four, super nice guy, and his uh, chick who was there, uh, lovely, lovely lady. I didn't even, I don't know if I caught her name, Tigger. Anyway, great people. Everyone was, everyone was so fucking good. T.O. Hank said I called him the big fat guy. It's like 
that didn't happen. You wonder where this stuff comes from. You wonder where these people's broken brain, like T.O. Hank, I never described you as the big fat guy. First of all, there were so many big fat guys. But I, I think they get something about running to Kevin and saying it. I think they really, you know, because because uh, Mario movie star fingernails had this. And of course, Kevin doesn't understand anything. He gets everything wrong. <laughs> He's like, uh, yeah, Patrick had a problem with Mario movie star fingernails. I think he was fucking like attacking him. So Melton's a bad guy. It's like, no, 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 no. All these motherfuckers lie about Melton. Then Melton calls it out. And look, I don't even think he was lying about me. I think it was a joke. One time Mario Movie Star Fingernails tweeted, Mel uh, I'm in Vegas and Melton blew me off for something. I don't even remember what. But, but Mario and I never had plans, and I certainly didn't blow him off, and I called him out for that. And he apologized because Mario knows that's not true. We didn't have plans. I didn't blow you off. But he, he liked to run to Kevin and tell him that. Same way Starbucks ambassador likes to run to Kevin and tell him. You know what I did, Melton? Same way Tigger was like, if you need me to have your back against Melton. No, I'm kidding. Look, man. It's like I, I get more shit wrong, you know? I guess. I guess. They get it wrong, and then they and then they like Kevin can't stop saying everybody lies about everything. Yesterday, Stuttering John goes on there and can't read a tweet. So he can't understand it because he can't read. And then he goes, like, see, Melton's crazy. He's like, Melton made a tweet where he said, in an intimate conversation, I admitted I was a big fan of MLC and NLO and told him that I can't let everything go because it would kill my show. I never had an intimate conversation with Melton. And then Kevin's like, you didn't? You didn't talk to Melton? Yeah, he lies about everything, man. It's like the tweet says, Stuttering John had an intimate conversation with a big fan of NLO and MLC. A big fan. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, if he wants to come forward. And he told that big fan, not me, again, they can't read. So they're like, Melton's such a liar. I never even talked to Melton. <laughs> it's like, yeah, the tweet doesn't say that. Stuttering John admitted that the reason he makes a big deal out of people t attacking his kids is for his show. He admitted that if he let it go and didn't get upset, that it would kill his whole show. Which can lead one to the conclusion that it's fake, which can also lead you to the conclusion he doesn't actually care about his, his uh, um, children and he's only doing it for the money. The same way Kevin's not upset that Melton made fun of his wife because Melton didn't make fun of his wife, but Kevin has to yell about something. So he's got to go online and be like, Melton made fun of my wife. Right, but that didn't come up at all in person. Very weird. Uh, B. Smiley, thank you for the super sticker. You're the best. Single mother of five, would you like all of us to get Stuttering John to, to Vegas show or no? I, I haven't asked you to do anything. I haven't asked you to do anything. Uh, beloved chatter. Oh, the data is from neglected cat, is it? Right, 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 right. I mean, all data is from somebody. You got to pick something to believe. Again, what I would challenge you to do is pick one show at random and audit it. Pick pick one of the short ones, like one of the short BS shows or short John streams or something like that, or or a Steel Toe show where there's like, you know, only six super chats. Audit it. See if he's lying. Imagine you catch John's neglected cat uh, with some sort of narrative that he's pushing with fake numbers. So you you either think he's lying and you're going to prove it, or you know he's probably not lying. He sh he shows the spreadsheets and stuff. Like he sh he showed a raw spreadsheet of the data coming in. He's he's parsing YouTube API data. I doubt he's lying about it. Wouldn't make any sense. Leo Gunn, thank you for the 10 gifted memberships. I'll suck y'all's dick. AC recaps. Host acted like petulant children. Fans were universally cool. I I just don't like being lumped into it. I, I, I act like a fan at these things. I tell people don't fucking kiss my ass. I'm not special. I, I'm hanging out with you guys. Nobody's a melting army. Nobody's a melting goon. It's so tribalistic and fucking basic. It really is.
I, I don't treat people like that, man. I really don't. Um, I don't take advantage of, of uh, people buying drinks and stuff. I, I'm not. I, I, John was stealing drinks from, from people. FKA Mommy said she bought two Coronas. John doesn't even drink Corona. He reaches across the table, just grabs it because there's a beer there. Starts drinking it. Yeah, it's rough. I, I don't like being lumped in. I never went for a fight. Everybody's like, John, even fucking stupid John is like, oh, Melton's a real tough guy until I approached him. It's like, no, I'm not. I'm not fighting you at the Borgata, you stupid fuck. I never said I was fighting you at the Borgata. You're dumb. Uh, hello. Hey, Melton, it's Goro. Hi, Goro. Uh, you know, I've been hearing a lot about the fights and the arguments, but nobody's getting into the the real meat of AC. What we want to know is who got fucked. Who got fucked? Yeah. I, I think Beloved like Chatter wizard. Beloved Chatter is doing some uh fishing around the B bar for some hookers. Right. He was saying uh, Beloved Chatter was getting mad because because Tender was all hookers, he said. It was like, he's like, fuck, Tender here is all hookers. Well, that one girl showed up that Chad's been flirting with. Uh, I forget her name, but she's the daughter of that famous guy. I mean, no, no, you know she didn't. <laughs> oh, I thought she showed up. I mean, why do you well, think that? Did... <laughs> I thought Chad said uh, she did, and then they no, they went to the Super Bowl party with that comedian Chad's always hanging out with, with the kid and the deep voice. Florentine. Yes. Yes. And but she Kate showed Meany, up there, but I guess she didn't. Yeah, Kate Meany did not come to um, Atlantic City. Oh. Uh, at all. Did the wizard fuck anybody? I don't think so. The sorcerer? Yeah. Now, the sorcerer is very cool, though. All right, we're going to let you go, Goro. You don't know what's going on. Um, no, the sorcerer was there. He was fucking awesome. Again, all these guys, uh, ask. I guess ask people who um, were there. It's like for him to say Jason Bentley weighs 250 pounds and is shaped like a normal person, but I'm a mess, is insane. And again, I like Jason Bentley, but if you want to cut us open and count the rings, <laughs> if we're going to measure how long it takes to get to the center of a uh, Tootsie Roll pop, whew, I would bet, I'd bet the sorcerer, and, and look, one of the nicest guys in the world, I bet the sorcerer any amount of money he wants to bet he has pounds on me. At least 20, if not 30. I'll, I'd bet. Let's bet. I'd bet. I I don't know about Bentley because Bentley's shorter and I'm not as good. But the sorcerer was the same height at me, ha height as me, so I can look at him and go like, "Oh, you like," and treat it like a mirror reflection and go, "Wow, Melton, you've gained weight." Now he might feel the same way, but but I'll uh. But I'll, oh, fuck. Beloved Chatter just said Melton was the most normal for sure, very approachable. I'll talk to anyone. I don't run from lunches. And again, if I had any idea we'd miss Gino and Keanu and Chad and Win by Two was allegedly there for an hour. Again, all these guys were here for an hour. For an hour. I was down there all weekend and went up for an hour and a half to do a show. It's when everyone else showed up and called Melton the pussy. They weren't there when we left. It's not like they showed up and we were like, let's get out of here. Win by two's here. They didn't show up until we were live, and they were all gone before we signed off. 90-minute window is when everyone came and went, Melton's not here. What a pussy. Okay. Okay. Again, you ran from John. I was around John all day. Anyone can verify. No one ran from John. He could have punched me any time Sunday. No guards around. He was the one who had Hitman Dan walking him to the bathroom. I imagine so they could do cocaine because he's an insane old lesbian. 
You know what, John? You and your Mr. Potato Kid can go fuck yourselves. That's right. Fuck yourselves. And guess what? Guess what you has been? Your kids are stupid losers. Do they even own Bitcoin? Right. You trashing my kids? Um, shit show. KB blocked me on X because I said he was too poor for Epstein's list and had to get his shoes off the docks. Jesus Christ. Really? It's not even like... Who cares? I gotta stop doing this. Sorcerer said he enjoyed meeting you, said you were the kindest guy, and included him uh, and everyone whenever possible. You are good people. Did he, hold on, and Davy Cakes was there again. Davy Cakes, can you verify? Because I don't, I don't think I met Davy Cakes. We we were only not down there for a fucking hour and a half, man, and we missed everything. But people want to act like we didn't have a reason to go up and do a show. No, we announced we were doing a show the minute we got Chad's audio or video. That's super nice of him, though. Like, no, honestly, we call, I called him over whenever he saw him. We ate lunch with him. Um, Sorcerer said he enjoyed meeting you. You were the kindest. Guy. I, I am. I'm the nicest man. People, you know, people really are wrong about Melton. People are coming around, though. They're, they're starting to understand Melton's the shining star of the dabble world. Uh, yeah, the Sorcerer is much bigger than you. I don't think so. We played football in college together. He's a big dude and lifts uh, and definitely doesn't diet. Yeah, I know, but if you listen to KB, he's just like, no, these guys were 100. He's literally shaving 100 pounds off of other people to stick it to Melton. <laughs> uh, the Sorcerer was literally like, like exactly my height. We looked eye to eye with each other. And uh we had no, we had nice talks, man. He was a he was a super genuine dude, sweet. I, I felt embarrassed. I apologize. I go, I go, you know I'm razzing you when I like but I can't even I can't even say some of the stuff that we were told that weekend because it would blow up so much shit. You almost really had to be there. It's like the secret of Brock Lee. You know, nobody's telling who Brock Lee was, even though we all met him. No one's explaining anything. Hey, hold on, but he said John wouldn't like him when he saw him. Nobody's explaining what that was. It's all very mysterious. Why won't people talk about Brock Lee? Who was he? What was he doing there? What is his history with John? Is he Asian? We don't know. Uh, Citizen M, it's my birthday. Happy birthday, Citizen M. Can you make Mike David call me? I don't think you can make Mike David do anything. Um, you know? I don't really know him. Uh, Leo Gunn. My favorite Patrick Melton Goon was the one wearing the Race Sucks t-shirt. That dude is my hero. That was uh, Melton Goon. That's uh, Peter Sky Parker slash David Skywalker slash PSP. Davy Cake says, I wasn't there, Sorcerer, and I just had a chat. No, super nice guy. I'm looking forward to seeing him with Matt Arise today. He knows these things like uh, these sessions on MLC are like purely entertainment and worthless for like improving people's quality of life. There's that like these things don't do anything. <laughs> also, speaking of uh, Jim Florentine. This got swept under the rug. This is Jim Florentine on Jim and Sam on January 29th. <laughs> I don't know if people heard this. It was making the rounds, I think, on Reddit or something. But uh, this is Jim Florentine on Jim and Sam on January 29th of this year. <laughs> he follows Chad Zumach on uh, Instagram. And <laughs> And he just he just trolls Chad. Oh Chad will God. Chad will put an Instagram stories picture. Uh, he puts a treadmill. He goes, "This is my office for the next hour." And, and my son will just write, "Yuck, that's not an office." <laughs> oh yeah, <It's> just... <laughs> that's awesome. He's like, "His son's killing me." Everything I post, why would you post that? <laughs> Chad posts his food. Why would you post that? That's stupid. Just eat it. Nobody cares. That's great. I can't imagine like sending your kid to. So Florentine's son 
trolls Chad Zumach. Everything he posts, he's like, that's stupid. Why would you post that? That's fucking amazing. It lets me know that in the Florentine household, they know Chad is a joke. If you think Jim Florentine and his son aren't joking about Chad Zumach, you're out of your mind. <laughs> he follows Chad Zumach on uh, Instagram, and, <laughs> and he just he just trolls Chad. Oh Chad will uh, Chad will put an Instagram stories picture. Uh, he puts a treadmill. He goes, "This is my office for the next hour," and, and my son will just write, "Yuck, that's not an office." <laughs> oh yeah. It's just... What do you think? What do you think Florentine thinks is funnier? Chad Zumach saying, this is my office, or his son going, yuck. That's awesome. <laughs> He's like, his son's killing me. Everything I pose. Why would you post that? <laughs> Chad posts his food. Why would you post that? That's stupid. Just eat it. Nobody cares. That's great. <laughs> I can't imagine, like, sending your kid to So that's real. That's real. I, 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 to get into the mind of Chad Zumach, I guess we got to talk about the, uh, the boxing challenge. Uh, I, first of all, I've made an error even issuing this challenge. This is nothing but a cost for me. I can't tell you how well Hackamania tickets are selling, and I'm not kidding. Hackamania.com, May 31st through June 2nd. Get your tickets now. They will only increase in price. Uh, there's a very real chance we sell this thing out sooner than later uh, before the event. You know, I don't want to speak. I don't know. I don't know how this stuff works. I I didn't think we'd be selling this well two weeks in. Tomorrow's two weeks that these tickets have been on sale, and I didn't think we'd be where we are. So I I, I am not. This is not a bluff. I am not worried about it. And we do not need Chad to save the event. Chad can't stop saying that I ran from him. Chad can't stop saying that he wants to fight somebody. He wants to hit. He misses it. Now, Chad also said he was getting in shape and writing tons of new material and was going to blow everybody away. He also said people would be surprised about what they were doing. In the AC, we know how it went. Chad didn't write one new joke. Chad was trembling. Chad ran from Melton and hid from Melton every chance he got, even though claims to the contrary are being batted around. And the show was a complete disaster. Okay? No audio, no lighting, no thoughts to the room. No, no security, no one checking tickets, a complete flop monetarily. Poor Ken Mosca just shelling out hundreds to stick it to KB, I guess. So just a complete fucking disaster across the board. There's no measurable way. Again, the same thing we say with Chad on his podcast and everything else. Pick a metric and tell me how it was a success. Chad did 14 minutes of material as a feature. Super short set, fail. Chad didn't do any new material. Bragging about all new material, fail. Chad said, no one will be able to record the show. Good luck. We have tight security. People live streamed the show and everyone recorded it. Fail. They sold 14 tickets in an 80-seat room and had 50 people in there not paying attention at all. Fail. Chad was going to show us all of his fans and hang out. He hung out one hour outside of his show. He made himself available for one hour at the B-Bar outside of his show. That's it. Fail. Chad went to New York City to go on Jim and Sam, Legion of Skanks, Broadway Comedy Club spots, New York Comedy Club spots, Comic Strip Live, which is Kate Meany's home club. You think he would be able to get some spots there? And The Stand. All canceled except for one spot at The Stand. 
11 p.m. show, Monday night, Stinkville. You know what I mean? It's like the day shift at a strip club. Chad Zumach had a room at a hotel, didn't check in, canceled the reservation, shows you the reservation. Shows you the reservation as if that's proof that he had a hotel. (laughs) You can make a reservation, cancel the reservation, not check in. Chad has his suitcase wheeling it around at the stand. I think he thought, and I'm not kidding, I think he thought he was going to stay at Kate Meany's house that night. Kate Meany and Stance will come out, you know, and Chad's working his magic. I think he thinks I'm going to get a go home with Kate Meany. And when he doesn't, he changes his flight. Because a hotel in New York City is 300 a night. Chad is doing all unpaid spots around New York City. He's not even making money for these spots. He's begged his way onto shows. Broadway Comedy Club is shit. Comic Strip Live is shit. New York, uh, stand-up New York is okay. Um, But just across the board, just just shit, shit, shit. Jim and Sam don't want you. Legion of Skanks, real-ass podcast don't want you. For what? To go on and stick it to Melton? I mean, this is, they don't care. They don't want any of this. Shit show says, hoes. (laughs) Crowdcat says, can we get a Lords of Vegas t-shirt in our swag bags for Hackamania when we check in? Thank you. There's no swag bag. Chad's mad at me. I left with Stancil back to my place and he trenched out my tarnished tarpet until it looked like I spilt a mudslide on the sheets. That's great, Kate. I always knew you took it up the... Ah, uh, ah, uh, fucking shit or skull. Chad's mad at me. I left with Stancil back to my place, and he trenched out my tarnished tar pit. And why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you choose Stancil over Chad? Just, ima- just imagine Chad's Tito's breath... His awful set. You know, he's like, I fucking killed. I destroyed. At 11 p.m. at the stand on the, on the, in the tiny room. He destroyed. People can never take this weekend away from Chad. <laughs> if you say so. If you say so, Chadley. And people are watching Chad's show now. I mean, Chad's getting $4 in Super Chats a show. It's it's worse than we could have ever expected. We'll watch a little Chad if we have time today. How? I mean, we're two hours into this. We haven't even pulled up a clip yet. And this is a clip show. So we're, we're slipping over here. <laughs> but I issued Chad this boxing challenge. And I should have known that it would escalate very quickly and Chad would start demanding more. When, in fact, nobody deserves less than Chad. Nobody. So I've made a horrible error. I'm giving Chad until Wednesday to accept this. Now, he knee-jerk accepted the challenge, and then he went back and decided he needed more money when he needed a first-class flight. I'm not negotiating, Chad. I got to make this very clear, and I'll never talk about this again. I'll never talk about this after today. Because we, we all know he's not going to accept. We all know he's not going to come. And frankly, I don't need him, and I made a mistake even offering it. We, do, we don't need him. We don't need him. All this does for me is more headache, more setup, another event to plan. We don't need him. I, I've made a horrible error here. Who gives a shit if Chad Zumach comes? But I've offered flight, hotel, Rocco's put up 500 bucks, And you know what, Chad? That's it. That's it. That's the offer, fat boy. You you don't make demands. You don't make. You get your fucking ass on a plane. It's it's. By the way, I'm not screwing you. We're not going spirit. We're gonna go with whatever the lowest cost flight here is. Just like everybody else. Just like everybody else. I'm not. Hey, I'm an AA member. Could you get an American Airlines flight? No, no. A flight, a hotel. And $500 after the fight, whether you win or lose. That's it, piggy. 
You need it more than I need you. We don't need you to be part of this. We don't need you in this world. I've I made an error even offering it. So puff up, make your demands, and do all your shit. There will be no negotiating. It's too much already. I've already I've already made a mistake. Also, you're not on the stand-up show. You're not doing a podcast. That, that people are like, "Wow, Chad, you're not even getting paid five hundred dollars for a boxing match and a set. No set, no set. We're trying to have a good show. This isn't another place for Chad to come do his Kmart joke again. Well, we're we're full up on hacks. <laughs> you don't you don't get to do a set, Chad. You're not on any other thing." other than getting knocked the fuck around by Melton. Do you hear me? That's the event for you. You come out, you put in a mouth guard, you put on some gloves, and you get the fucking shit kicked out of you, fat boy. Okay, pig? That's the offer. That's the offer. Take it or leave it, stupid. Okay? And it, and mark my fucking words. You will take it, and you will come out, because you need to be a part of it, you fucking pig. You are clamoring to stay relevant. We've seen all the numbers. Everyone saw how many Zumok fans there were at this event. Just like I told you, baby, <laughs> reality smacked you in the fucking face. I, I, I launched ticket sales at Hackamania one week before your stupid Atlantic City event, and we sold over that. What, what you sold for that event, we sold over that in a day. You don't have fans. You're not relevant. We're throwing you some scraps to come out, and that's too much. It's more than you deserve. So sh you've never flown first class in your life, and we're not about to put you on there now. And you're lucky we don't shove you in a dog crate down in cargo. You're a fucking desperate pig, and you'll do as you're told. <laughs> or you'll sit over there and just hunk it up all weekend. They're so stupid. Nobody wanted to go to it anyway. Uh, you'll do what you're told, pig. Get in the crate. You're not doing stand-up. Matter of fact, we'll probably fly you out day of the fight. You won't even be here for the other events. <laughs> you won't even get a participant badge. We'll back a truck up to the loading dock. We'll, just like they deliver dinosaurs to Jurassic Park. We'll slide the cage open. You can get into the ring, get fucked up, you pussy. I mean, you know, bring your little T-Rex arms and your short 5'6 body. I mean, Jesus, you were 5'8 two weeks ago, now you're 5'9. He's still and growing. Get him a Flintstones vitamin. I mean, when you have to start going 5'8 and a half, 5'9, it's like, whoa, whoa. Somebody's stretching him like he's a taffy man. He's growing right before our eyes. We know you're five six. We saw you next to John. We saw John looking like full oompa loompa. And then we saw you next to John. Same height. Same puffy barrel chest. You know what? Mel Melton may look like a fucking barrel too. But it's a taller one. And it's got one with longer arms. And I guarantee you I'll beat your fucking ass. <laughs> For fun. For fun. So that's what it is, pig. Keep tweeting all day long about your demands. No one's going to care. And mark my words, when the deadline passes Wednesday for you to accept this, it's over. I already told, I was telling uh, Rocco yesterday, I already have overextended myself. I don't have time to plan this. We've got to do it right. We've got to do it right. It's got to be legal. That means there will be some certification you have to go through. And by the way, Chad, you don't tell anybody else about this. You email me, Patrick at nobodylikesonions.com. You email me that you accept and you have to communicate like an adult. Because here's the other thing. 
I I don't trust you. You're not you're not an effective business person. So I'm gonna book you for this, and you're gonna flake anyway. I'm gonna be already. I know there's 50 50 if you accept that you're gonna flake and throw my money away. I've accepted that. We know you're a fucking pussy. But if you cannot communicate with me, Patrick Melton, the event organizer, not Patrick Melton, the comedian, not Patrick Melton, the boxing opponent. I am also the organizer of this event. You must reach out to me and confirm that you accept these terms. And if you cannot do that, then we cannot move forward. You do have to communicate like an adult. So tweeting will not be an accept, uh, will not constitute acceptance. Telling Rocco will not constitute acceptance. Having one of your other little fans go back and forth will not constitute acceptance. You must email me like a fucking grown man, okay? Just like you were making an appointment at the bank. It's the only way because otherwise I don't know that you can, and you don't need to go, hey, Fed, so I accept your, you're talking to Patrick Melton, the promoter. You're talking to Patrick Melton, the event organizer. So be fucking professional and I'll be professional back to you. There doesn't need to be, I'm going to kick your ass. I'll take it. No, no, no. You're not talking to Patrick Melton, the comedian boxer guy. So those are the terms, you fucking idiot. I've already made a mistake. You're stupid not to accept it. And you get on the fucking plane. You get your piggy ass on the plane, middle seat, in cargo, if that's what it fucking takes. You'll come out here. You'll get a shake hands and get free beers from your fucking idiot trolls. You think they're fans, but everyone's trolling you. You think people like you, but everyone's fucking with you, you nerd. And you'll do what you're told. That's the that's the fucking offer. You'll do what you're fucking told. So let me know, Piggy. And, and mark my words, after this Wednesday, it's over. There will not be another offer. I know you're going to get real FOMO as it gets close. You will not be here. You will not be allowed to attend. Unless, unless you agree to like put on a clown suit and sit in a dunk tank all day long. All day long. That'll be the next offer. You have to let people throw tomatoes at your face. That'll be the next offer, okay? Or we get to dip you in red dye and everyone gets to walk down you like the red carpet, like the lumpiest, frumpiest red carpet in existence. We got a fish lunch. (laughs) I mean, it just like, come on, come on. In his house, Melton is the toughest Melton. I've never been tough in my life. I've never challenged anybody to a fight in my life. I've never challenged anybody to a fight in my life. Now I am. Chad wants to fight. Chad says Melton runs from him. This should be a no-brainer. I'll stand still, and you get to hit. But I also get to hit. Sound fair? You let me know, piggy. But you don't get to pick any terms for this. So you have you have no heat. You, you're not in demand, and we've seen what you you're not gonna. <laughs> no 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 no. You will make no other money from this. <laughs> uh, slow money. Having Chad at Hackamania will be like John showing up at AC. He'll try to make it all about himself. Yeah, of course, of course. That's why he won't be allowed in any other venues or premises uh jason bardo x elevate their live streaming experience who's single mother of five but chad is still eligible for the open mic contest yes yes chad could compete friday night at the open mic contest which is also going to be for 500 bucks by the way we're looking for sponsors you know you talk about swag bags whoo who wants to sponsor Hackamania, huh? We'd love to look. I'm looking for some small label dishwasher detergent or maybe a uh, premium chip dip company to step forward and really run with this, you know? Behind the scenes, we're getting ready for the big event. Things are starting to be printed, you know? So if you want to sponsor the event, Helmish, make John wear that awful suit jacket in the drunk tank. John's not. John's not invited. But I do have a big announcement that will be made at Hackamania. 
Um, I don't think I can make the announcement before Hackamania, but at Hackamania, I'll be making a big announcement about another event uh, coming up, which I don't think anyone's going to want to miss. Okay, can we get into a little uh, steel toe stuff? That's it for Chad. Hey, Piggy, you'll do what you're told or you'll shut the fuck up. You have no negotiating power. You have no leverage. You're the smallest, unhottest item on the bill. Tukey gets Tukey is bigger than me. Can I say that? Tukey's bigger than Melton now. Okay, what is is? We cannot be upset about this. Tukey gets gets eight hundred uh, viewers live. Wit is bigger than than all of us. Okay, Ray Devito, big big live. Now Chad Zumach has enjoyed two hundred three hundred live viewers this past couple of weeks, but that's just because. Again, it's hate. It's hate. Count the Super Chats. I mean, Chad's lucky if he ever makes 20 bucks in Super Chats. Gross! That's both a reaction and a qualification on the number I gave you. Gross! Oh, fuck. Hit the like button. No, no, I know you, we, we want more Ray and stuff. I know. I know. But we have so much Chad and Steel Toad stuff to cover. By the way, you know, anything Steel Toad saying, saying like. <laughs> Remember when they were done with the Dabbleverse and Chad was mentally ill and they'd made a horrible mistake going after people like Melton and Chad because these guys don't know the lines and they don't know how to draw the lines. And now, like, they couldn't. Steel Toad's dying to get Chad back on. Steel Toad's dying to get some sort of thing going with Melton. Uh, we don't mess with small shows like Steel Toe and MLC. Sorry. Sorry. I've already milked all I can off of those, okay? Backdoored my way into that world. Stole all their fans. I don't mess with tiny shows anymore, okay? So the Kevin Brennans and the Aaron M. Halt of the world with these small shows. Not interested. <laughs> Cannot be interested. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we got some steel toe gold. Monday night was the first night April M. Holt came back to the show after being uh, unceremoniously dismissed by her husband the week before. And the show started about as awkward as a show can start. Hey, hey give me a breather. Let's back it up. Watch this. This is Monday evening. Mooby's got his uh, his girdle on. Shit's popping. Bloop. Watch this. Shit, sorry. Thanks. I've been trying my hardest to just look good without it, but that shoots me right in the ass. Ugh. April is beautiful. She hates hearing these things. I do. I She's really don't do well with it. So April's not doing well, and Mooby has to start the show with a confidence building uh, uh, exercise. Oh, look, uh, Tiff, is say Tiff, our beautiful queen, is saying that the like ratio is really bad on today's show. We're not even at 200. We got almost 550 watching us live. Could you take a minute to hit the like button? Brennan hates it. Chad hates it when you hit the like button. Chad hates it. Don't leave a comment if you're watching this later either. Don't leave a comment. You know what I'm going to do, by the way? we we Because we're going to start giving away some... Uh, some uh, Hackamania stuff. Number A, number A, if you would like to come to Hackamania, you're thinking about it, you're on the fence, it's cost prohibitive. I know 100 bucks for a ticket is expensive. If you're willing to help out and volunteer and you're not a complete spaz, um, of course you can, you can get in free. We do need some helpers. You'll basically have to sit at tables. You have to check badges. Just little, little dumb things. But if you like if you like authority and telling people what to do, which I know most of you do, you fucking idiot. Uh, we'd love to give you a badge. We'd love to give you a badge and some goodies for coming out to Hackamania. Send me an email, Patrick at nobodylikesonions.com. Uh, if you'd like to come out and help. I I I prefer reliable people. You know? So sorry, crumbum. Crumbum, I'd like you to come, but you need to be in the mix drinking and partying. You're a shit stirrer. You're a party starter. 
You're not welcome behind the table, okay? We're looking for people who are put together and own pants. Gorgeous. She's uh, the most beautiful woman I've ever been with in my entire life, bar none. Uh, that makes me feel bad for But we're also going to be giving away. I'm, I'm going to do a thing uh, starting in March. We'll, we'll start giving away some tickets, too, um, to people. But you gotta like you gotta like want tickets. So you got it's gonna be like uh like I can't just go like uh Crayon Bird. You just won two tickets to Hackamania because Crayon Bird might go. I live in Iceland. I'm not coming. And I'm like, well, you got two tickets, you know. So we gotta get Flat Cats very organized. Get that bitch out of my world. We're never gonna have Flat Cat. <laughs> your uh, your track record then. You know, look. Good. Here, oh god, look at the breast binder today. Fuck. I don't have a bra, and I just realized too. I'm really sorry tonight, guys. I'm nobody's, fucking falling the fuck apart. Nobody's complaining. So here's the deal. I, as a, uh, as a genuinely positive individual, have decided that if uh, if April is, uh, she doesn't believe uh, that she looks fantastic tonight or anything like that, I don't really care. I'm gonna lean in because. It's better to die on your shield. Go out on your shield, as they say, rather than just go, well. Die on your shield, huh? You can die on my shield, man. You have no idea. Where did that come from? I had an epiphany in the car today. Holy shit. I had an epiphany on the way home, and I said, you know what? Oh, God. No matter what is going on in life, no matter what the world is around you, you fucking, you go out on your shield. If you believe that what you are is good, then you fucking do it until everybody just grabs you by the scruff of the neck and goes, how long until you adjust that mic for us? Let's get the fuck out of here, you happy-go-lucky fucking positive asshole. It's when you lose that and you become something else that that's where it fucks up. You lean the fuck in, you be what you are, and you don't let anybody tell you any different. I like that. That's good. That's what I had. I fucking this is going to be a lot of advice. So I, I do want to tell everybody, get a pen, get a paper. You're about to get more life advice than you ever bargained for from the Steel Toe Marriage Down the Toilet Show. I had a fucking panic attack about five minutes ago. I'm sick of fucking stress. I tell you what. I'm just April's sick of stress. Really, no. I would really like there to just be sunshiny Listen, days. That's I'm all. I would just like to. I want everybody to get along. I thought it was squash. I just wish there was sunshiny days. I'm telling you right now, God I damn. I am sunshine. I'm Ugh. I'm tired of fucking. I usually am. No, no, no. I'm What's tired of here? pretending I'm not. I am goddamn sunshine. I am positivity. You know what it is about the world? I've talked to April about this before. Ugh. I have my optimism, like almost gaslit out of me by society. <sighs> This should be good. By just the world in general, the way people are conditioned. Because I genuinely have the belief everything's going to be fine. And then on my absolute best <laughs> days, I do my best to facilitate that outcome. And that's me 99% of the time. The 1% of the time I'm not like that, I let shit get in my head, put in there from other places. That must be when you're on air. When he's off air, he's super confident. When he's on air... Crumble City. I'm so sick of holding him while he cries. <laughs> and then I fuck up. Me on my best Shut judgment, up. being who, my, who I am, is a beautiful, positive thing. The only problem is, you know what happens when I'm really positive? Here's the look I get from a lot of people. Whoa. <laughs> but what I have, and then I change, and then I go... Oh, well, maybe I'm just being ridiculous. Maybe I'm being too much. I'm being too up right now. But you know what I realized? That face, this face here, that face of doubt, that, that's the Bill Hicks bit about uh, the, the uh, love and fear. That is people projecting their negative outlook on how they see things to be onto me so that I'll think that way. Does anyone have any idea what he's talking about? Have you ever heard more horse shit wrapped up in horse shit? Like, he's not even making points anymore. And when I start thinking that way, I'm a piece of shit. I don't want to be a piece of shit. I want to be happy-go-lucky. So when I say die on my shield, that's what I mean. I want to die on my shield. I want it like this.
Isn't it die on your sword? What's die on your shield? Die on a hill? Fall on your sword? Die on your shield? Nobody says die on your shield. I want someone to put one right fucking here while I smile. I That's feel that me. way a lot, actually. Good. Maybe you and I identify that way. You and I. They know they're so fucking irrelevant now. They're, I mean, imagine having to call out for Chad Zumok to be your guest. Please, Chad. Please, Chad, come be your guest. And you might go, Patrick, aren't you calling out for Chad Zumok to come be your guest at Hackamania? No, again, he's not invited to perform in any capacity. Now, look, he's free to go around the rest of the city and get as many spots as he can. Like he said, he's talked to all the Vegas comics. They all hate Melton. So I imagine they'll all give Chad spots to spite me. So he should be loaded up with spots and busy anyway. But no, Chad is not invited here to showcase his lack of talent. He's invited here to get his ass knocked around. That's it. That's it. I are the same that way, and I, yeah, try, I, I so. try to tell you that. Believe you me, we are the exact same person that way. Sometimes a nice bullet right there could be good. I now they're wishing for bullets in their head. <laughs> Fucking hell. But no. you're right, I will go with a smile on my face. Not the That's bullet. The I never get the bullet. I'll tell you why I never well, get the bullet. Why did you do this thing? Because I look at them and I go, come on. Come Whoa. What is wrong with the genetics here? <laughs> what, what happened? Where did all of it go awry? I don't know what's worse. The mouth is wild. <laughs> oh, God, I can't get enough of him. But I love that, like, whatever April's going through, he's got this long list of things she needs to do to get it fixed. Come on. Oh, that's just taunting. That's mean. No, no, no. And you're happy. No, they're like, oh, I'm good. You know what? Oh, the whole world fucking sucks. It stinks. I'm going to fucking put a bullet in this whole no, thing's no, head. No. And I go, <clears throat> right there. See, that's the thing I'm good at, though. When somebody else needs that positivity, I can give that fucking ray of sunshine to somebody. I think it's the uh, hoping to get it back thing. That's, That's a what, struggle. Can I, can I tell you something? This is one of those great radio moments where I can communicate with you when we do it on air. I'm not. No. So he is able to turn towards her. You know, we always make fun of him looking away from her. He is able to face her when he wants to. Look at this. When he's holding court and giving her instructions on how to live, he faces her. When, just in a normal day, though, in a normal conversation, he, he's disgusted and has to look away. But right now, he thinks he's really smart, and he's going to give her some life advice. I'm not even necessarily talking about Aaron here, so don't get skewed that No, way. this is about, no. This I, is like I, people. I will, no, I will say this. People. April has been having a very, and, and I, me too, but I just, like I said, <laughs> this. Yeah, um, I, I know. April's been having a very difficult time with many people. Ugh. And that's Thursday, Friday, you know, the shows and everything. Multiple people, difficult time, and that's why, and I, I find. April's having a difficult time with many people. Multiple shows, many people. What? Fucked up and I told her to take the day off. That was me being caring. I right. should have just smiled. I actually really wanted to do the show that I day. I should have been myself. I actually really wanted to do the show that day. <laughs> Is that why you cried? And I should have went, hey, fucking do whatever you want. You'll be all right. Yes. That's me. Trust me. But now, when here's, I say, hey, give me a breather, I want to come back. Here's, here's my thing with you, Good. though, what you just said. You just said, and I'm, I'm tired of pretending I'm not insightful. Um, <laughs> when have you ever pretended you're not I insightful? I have. I've had that shit beaten <laughs> out of me. Oh, boy. I, Jesus. I mean, this is a real admission here, though. He, he's been gaslit all the happiness out of him. He's had all the insight beat out of him. By who? What happened? The point I was trying to make on my professional radio show this past Monday was that the amount of positivity I have can be a double-edged shield. <laughs> I like to fall on my shield. I've 
had that shit beaten out of me. <laughs> beaten. Fucking what? ripped out. Ri no, ripped out. You have no idea. Uh, over who? the years. Just the world. Just acting like, I'm tired of saying shit, getting browbeaten for it, and then two months later having it happen, and then going, well, what am I supposed to do now? Because if I go, I fucking I told us so, then everyone goes, Aww. well, you're a fucking dick. And then it's like, what do we mean a dick? You were an asshole to me. I was so in Ar Aaron's, th this is a new level of cope. In Aaron's mind, the reason he is so beaten down is because he's tired of being right. He's exhausted from being right all the time and people not being able to accept that he's right. I was right. And I'm uh, being fucking crucified here. Uh, so anyway. You can't give you one, say, one example I of that. I mean, you weren't right about your show. It's not a professional show. You weren't right about April being your GM. She's now got a part-time job. You weren't right about anything, your instincts for the program, because you're under 2,000 hits on a show in 24 hours. now. I mean, it's just, you've been wrong about everything. The money is very down. I mean, guys, it, it, that... We're talking $59, $39 a show now for Steel Toe. I don't know how it's going this morning. Could somebody go over there and check the live goal? I mean, let's just do it. Let's just do it live. Steel Toe morning show. Let's just go check their live program. Oh, they're already done? They're already off air. Hold on. They don't go off till. Whoa. Okay. They go four to eight. So they didn't do overtime today. And there's no chat. 1,000 views. Um, is going to need. Oh, no. Homemade's better than hair gel. Every day with the too, hair. Going back Every to the day. I'm going to gain some of my weight back if I get back into a regular uh, gym schedule. Me too. I gained weight yesterday, and I worked. I worked. Hold on, he's been talking about how he's working hard to lose weight. Now he's like, I got to gain some of my weight back. I worked my little, uh, I worked my little backside off at the gym. Okay, everyone's saying they didn't do a show. They did. We're watching it. This is the show. <laughs> and I gained a couple of pounds. What that means is that I have been atrophying, and that's why I've been losing weight. So he's been bragging about working out and losing weight, but now he's like, I'm gaining weight now that I'm going to the gym. That means that the weight I was losing wasn't like on purpose nutritionally. It was I was just atrophying my muscles. Okay. By the way, have you ever seen two arms that were more disproportionate in size? I mean, there's no getting around this one. Look how thick the right arm is. E -e 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 -e. And how thin the left arm is. You can see it. Look at the difference. It's like a fiddler crab with one giant claw. It's palpable on your screen. One arm is definitely bigger around than the other arm. But now he's going to explain his weight loss and weight gain. No matter what he's doing, it's always good. I'm losing weight, getting in shape. I'm packing on weight, getting in shape. It's like, Jesus, if that worked for me. Well, I mean, I've been eating less, and I've been eating a little better. But uh, most of it is my... I mean, it's mayo in bed at midnight. Muscles are going to shit. I hear you. So as those get built back up, maybe the weight goes up a little. But as long as we keep her under 220, hell, we're on the right track. Welcome to the show. It is now this is weird. I don't know how to handle today. For the simple reason he never knows how to handle today. There's all, let me guess. If this is about the goal, I'm gonna scream. 
If this is about the goal, if there's some new weird calculation today, I'm going to lose my mind. Being, it's kind of the last show of the week, but it's not totally the last show of the week. So April and I have an appointment at, what, 8.30 tomorrow morning? Yes. but Oh, no. Couldn't be avoided. But it's, like, far away. Yeah. Hour drive, something like that. Could not be avoided. So we've got to do this thing at 8.30. And... April is going to need some time to get ready in the morning and things like, you know, me, I am a guy. I just court. 830 in the morning. April needs time to get ready. Just go in a shower. I go. And then I just walk out looking like this. I don't. There's no dignity involved. (laughs) And uh, April wants to look nice and she wants to look good. So it'll take like an hour or so. Sure. So what we're going to do tomorrow morning. Whoa. What's going on? Watch this. We need wrist cam. We need limp wrist cam. It starts right here. Watch this weird. I don't know if you caught it. Watch what he does with his arm. This is wild. It'll look nice and she wants to look good. So it'll take like an hour or so. So what we're going to do tomorrow morning is we're going to do a Rumble Friday. I mean, this is like the behavior of a toddler. Yeah, so what we're going to do, what we're going to do is Rumble Friday. We're going to Rumble Friday. We're going to do it. We're going to do so. Basically, what we're going to have, what we're going to do. What what is he what is he doing? Like what is this? This isn't human behavior. It's wild. It's very very fucking weird, man. Take like an hour or so. Okay. So what we're going to do tomorrow morning is we're going to do a Rumble Friday. But it'll be from 6 to 7:30. And then the two of us will head out at uh, at 7.30. I mean, he has a let go of his arm. And we're going to, and then we'll, and by the way, it happens, just so happens, Rumble Friday, and then when we go over to the other part, it'll be great. You'll see. It's nice. And if that, if there's time, we'll all have Pizza Hut. If there's later on, if we get it. What is going on? Who like manipulate, who moves around like this? What we're going to do tomorrow morning is we're going to do a rumble Friday, but it'll be from six to seven 30. And then the two of us will head out at, uh, at seven 30. What the hell did I, is this? (laughs) My wrists are sore from faggot. (laughs) <laughs> just like am i tired or what my wrists are killing me <laughs> <laughs> why do they hurt why do they hurt so much my wrists are killing me ah! what in the fuck nice and she wants to look good so it'll take like an hour or so so what we're going to do tomorrow morning is we're going to do a Rumble Friday, but it'll be from 6 to 7.30. And then the two of us will head out at uh, at 7.30. Uh, yeah, so tomorrow we're going to do a Rumble Friday. And then, if there's time, we'll all head out around 7.30. And then, if there's time, we'll get ice cream after court. And I appreciate everybody. Ow, my wrists are... What's wrong with my wrist? 30. What the hell did I? Is this just like, am I tired or what? My wrists are killing me. Freaking me out. Am I tired? My wrists are killing me. I hate it when you don't get a good night's sleep and you wake up with sore wrists. You know that old trope? Hey, my wrists hurt. Did you get enough sleep? Because that happens to me. You don't get enough sleep. Beloved Chatter, uh, you die on your sword and you come back on your shield. I don't come on my shield. You come on your shield. Why are you trashing me? 
Why are you trashing my children? Fatty Patty! Why are you trashing my children? Right now. Oh, you know what? Probably gym yesterday. I'm yes, guessing, I would. I would guess the gym. My, I've got like a yeah. That's like a bo- that's probably a boxing thing. My wrist is all fucked up. But anyway, uh, Mister Nobody says going to meet the new bull. Stuttering John's fingernail says we're going to couples therapy. No, I, let me tell you. No, we would never go to couples therapy. Hello. Yeah, so the office of the Secretary of State of Minnesota is exactly an hour away from them. Uh, Aaron registered Steel Toe as the corporation. He's going there to dissolve the company. Uh, the whole thing that they were nervous about in the past couple weeks is he's being audited. So April's an employee, and they've been scamming the system, uh, getting paid time off and all sorts of government benefits and stuff. And uh, time's up, asshole. How do you know this? The office of the Minnesota Attorney General. Hit the like button. What if this is true? Now, look, I, 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 when I spoke to these people, I handed over everything I had. A reporter was involved. I handed it all over. Over, you know, I guess coming up on nine months ago. The government does work slowly. The government works slowly. So this whole nine months of pounding your chest going, oh, yeah, our illegal lottery drawing and still doing it and then doubling down on it and the way they take entries and all this stuff. If they were watching and building a case and anyone who's watched anything from The Sopranos to, to you know, uh, NYPD Blue (laughs) knows that it takes forever for the government to build a case. It can be very frustrating for victims who know uh, that a perpetrator is out there walking around. They wonder why the FBI is not doing anything, why the government's not working on it, why the Justice Department moves so slowly. They build a case and they don't move in until they know something. Now, I'm not saying that's what it is, but this guy seems to know some information. If it's true, April is the GM of operations of Steel Toe. If they're being audited, if they're being, I mean, if they're dissolving, why would they dissolve the company? I, I, I don't know. And then there's a guy in the chat going like, right, like the government really works on that. Or works like that. It's like, you're right. They do work very fast and efficient. And communicate really well about what they're doing. They never, like, take a long time to build a case. Feds only strike when the case is won in their evil eyes. I mean, it's not just the feds. Everybody. I had a friend uh, named, uh, let's call him Shannon, in Tampa. And the dude got arrested along with, like, 14 other people in a sting in Tampa, Florida, because he went over to a supposed miner's house to give him a massage. Now, Shannon was working on becoming a massage therapist, and we never knew he was gay or a pedophile. (laughs) And I'm not saying he is or was. Was he sharp? No, 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 no. He's been on the show. You can go back and listen uh, in the Tampa days. And the dude, like, I'm not kidding. He, like, I guess he he put an ad on Craigslist or answered an ad on Craigslist that this kid wanted a massage, a, a young boy, 14 or something, and he was going to go over and massage his kid. And he's like, but my parents are home. Is that okay? And... I guess he was like, yes. And he goes over there. Now, this is the story he told us after he had been arrested and stuff. And we all never believed it because I, they don't, man, they have you. You know, those to catch a predators and stuff. It's like they don't, they have enough already, but before you get there to arrest you, like if you don't come, they'll come find you and arrest you. 
There's no, it's not a misunderstanding. It's not, we knew, we were like, they, it's, they got 14 people in one day and he was one of them. Pictures in the paper, you know. I mean, if they, man, they, get, they if they have a case, they don't move until they have a case. There really is the truth. They don't move until they have a case. <laughs> How about the there? <laughs> yes, right there, Milton. That's right. <laughs> that boy, Mr. Zumach, is it his middle name, Shannon? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, happy days. Oh, happy days. Mr. Inholm's got it coming to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't he know. thinks he's got a one up because his aunt, his aunt is a CPA, and he's been using her advice. <laughs> How does everybody know this info? Oh Lord! Oh, us us listeners from back in the days, from him flapping his gums all the time. You know, he shares all of his information. That's why we know all of the weaknesses to that couple. <laughs> They put themselves right in that target there, Mr. Nelson. And guess what happens and when you, you do that? You are holding that rifle. You got it. 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 Oh, God. Always funny. And uh, John's neglected cat checking in live during the program with the official steel toe numbers for Thursday, February 15th. And and somebody go check it. A hundred and nine. This is Rumble and YouTube combined. A hundred and ninety six dollars gross. A hundred and fifty three net. $50 gross per hour. 5121. That's divided by two. You could work at an Ace Hardware store and make more money. People are like 25 bucks an hour. Pretty good pay. Yeah, but only you're only allowed to work four hours a day. Had they gone longer, it's not like they would have made more. Their average per hour would have just gone down. We've seen it. And by the way, 200's a good day for them. 200's a great day for them. We've seen the past few days, $39, $56. It's bad. It's worse than you could ever imagine. $39 a show. They have to be killing themselves. So they got to get up in the morning. Is this real? A stack of, of problems piling up upstairs. Super stressful. No sunshiny days. When does... Uh, now, you know, I don't know if this is an audit or this is a a business problem with the lottery thing. Like, who knows? Who knows? Death in the family. Deborah says, I believe they're being uh, audited. It's all on Venmo, guys. What do you mean it's all on Venmo? Is Steel Toe not private on Venmo? Oh, no. Hold on. Steel. What's their Venmo? Steel Toe Morning Show. Does anybody know what their Venmo name is before so I can look it up? Hello, caller. Hello, caller. I'm me. Um, I know for a fact that the county commission knows about Aaron's prize night. They've been emailed I, repetitively. I, I mean, by I, know, I know for a fact. I've been, I, I've gotten a thank you for the report. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, then you're not the only one who emailed them about that. The government is well aware of Aaron and his shenanigans. Uh, and if April's back to work, she's filling out a W-2. And then, uh, you know, the IRS is going to get involved with that because they're going to be aware of it. Um, okay. We'll, we'll see. All right, I just, I, I'm telling you, man, they're going to get it. <laughs> all right, dude. Bye. All right. Thank you. I mean, Jesus Christ. I don't know where all this inside info is coming in. 
Look at this. January 21st, Steel Toe Media played Mary Bre paid Mary Breggle for a coloring book and a sticker. So we're not getting a mount, but people are sending links in. Let me count the number of uh, Venmo transactions they've gotten from listeners this year, okay? Month and a half in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They paid Gino Bisconte. Nine, 10, 11, 12. 12, uh, they've gotten 12 Venmos of money. Federal conviction rate is over 99%. Only 2% of cases go to trial because of that. <coughs> Look, I don't know. I don't know if any of this stuff is true, but it is wild. Amy Elizabeth, 11 months. Can you believe we've been together that long? He said he has been through this before. Yeah, he said his parents had never been through it. She's never been through it, but he's been through it. Now, for the longtime listeners, has he ever been audited? Has he ever been sued? Has he ever gone through legal hassles? Waver, thank you. Where's B. Smiley? Where's Pulper? Give it to me good, Daddy. Let me tell you this. <laughs> uh, let me tell you this about uh, the couples therapy thing. I would rather be doing both of those things That's, wow. than going to the appointment we have to go to tomorrow. That's actually true. I would, and no, it's not a colonoscopy. Are you saying you'd rather be doing the the meeting the new bull I'd and rather, couples therapy? I'd rather <laughs> he'd rather be meeting April's new bull and going to couples therapy than whatever they have to do tomorrow. Be meeting oh, the shit. new bull than going to the appointment I'm going to tomorrow. Because if you're going to meet the new bull, he doesn't have to f fuck April. I just have to meet him. It's like a job interview. Do I get a say in this? I can still say no. No, I'm not giving you any agency over this. I don't, might... don't want to. Okay, good. I was going to say, you might say yes. So I don't want to give you any agency on this decision. You know. No, thank you. There's that word again. Uh, I love that word now. I can't stop using it. using it a lot it. for some reason. I used it yesterday. Yeah, internal revenue agency. <laughs> a bunch too. Uh, vigor vigorously masturbating will make your wrist sore, says Crack and Slappin'. Oh, you should stop being so rough. <laughs> He's saying I should stop whacking off. Aaron has 100% been involved in lawsuits. I have the tapes. How far would Aaron get through the first sentence in prison? Ooh. All right. Probably. Uh, MN Viking says vasectomy. Bro, get with it. What? I, I mean, that was, what, four, five, six years ago? Five, six years ago? Yeah, I mean, that's For kind me? of been done, hasn't it? It has been done. You guys, and by the way, all- The minute I, mock, I knocked my wife up in the middle of our divorce, I was like, no more kids. All of you have to stop saying anything that reminds me of an Eric Church lyric. I don't, who's Eric Church? Because yesterday we officially had to ban Eric Church from the show. I can't play Eric Church songs for seven days. Is this country? Eric Church. Eric, Eric, Eric. So until next, now, is it until next Wednesday and then Wednesday I can start playing it again? Or is Wednesday the last day of the ban? I would think Wednesday is the last day. Shit. Well, it's got to be full days, right? Eric Church and Rakim. Yeah, Rakim. <laughs> I remember Eric Church. I remember Eric Church and Rakim. That was a great, great duo. Really, really, um, you know, I, I all of Wu Tang. We wouldn't have anything without Eric Church. <laughs> yeah, come on. So don't like put Eric Church lyrics in the chat. Don't say like Eric just or uh, Eric. <laughs> April, see, it's already becoming a problem. Uh, April just said. Uh, it's been done or something like that. You said something to that effect. And I thought, um, if it ain't that same old been done kind. 
And that's part Come of on, Mr. Mr. Misunderstood. Okay. Um, I can. I wouldn't know. I mean, again, Mooby listens to a song called Mr. Misunderstood by Eric Church. He ran a ra- sorry. <clears throat> he ran a radio show. Nobody pays any mind. He can't ever hit the goal. Hardly none of the time. He gotta go to an appointment across the town. What's got you smiling? What got you down? You're fucking frump. You're fucking scrimp. It's time to start saving. It's time to be a simp. He gotta put April in a big bikini just to get the goals to eeny meeny. Gonna bring Chad Zumach on for clout. You gotta wiggle April's ass all about because we ain't making no money at the steel tech. Show. Imagine being a guy into country music. Well, I'm a fucking cuck and I rent my wife out. I gotta go fucking rinse a cup out because I'm drinking mayo and mac in the nighttime bed. Sorry. That. Uh, <laughs> and then there was a song I was listening to today. Uh, uh, the, 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 what is it? What is it called? Um, Faggots like me. God damn it! I can't remember. So thank God. There, I forgot. That's great. I can do other songs though. You can't remember what you just listened to today. Uh, it's like super early. What? Why is he so soft? How do you? you are you listening to that while you box? Well, I'm swinging my fist inside the gym, dreaming about her, but thinking about him. <laughs> What's the, what's the song? Lady, let shake down your hair. Jesus Christ. Lady, 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 shake down your hair. Took off your pants. There's a penis down there. And I couldn't be happier if you were my dad. Uh, I can smell the ocean. So- what in the... F- if you... If a video just leaked out of me listening to that. Doing nothing embarrassing, just sitting here while that song played. It would be the most embarrassing video of me ever released. I'd rather someone put a virus on my computer and catch me sleepjacking than just casually toe tapping to whatever it is he's singing right now. This is wild. How does it go? Lady, let down your hair. I ain't never seen a man around here that I didn't want to be with, and I couldn't get hard to. But if he comes around, I'll suck him off. Take him out back by the old pig trough, and we'll get real naked, and we'll wrestle around on the ground. I'm sucking off men. I'm sucking off him. I ain't never been licking no man and never got harder than that. I mean, it would just be, I mean, isn't this what women are supposed to listen to? I mean, I I dug my keys into the side of his pretty little souped up four wheel drive. That's less gay. At least there was a time she wasn't a giant, gross, unfuckable monster. And it's a woman. But no, he's got Eric Church albums just laying around, you know, to listen. And he's listening to them without April, you know. he's The wife's gone. She's at her part-time job that she had to get to pay for the lawsuit. He's looking around. It's like, no wife, no kids. Almost. Well, I'm going to slip my pants down to the floor. Make sure the lock is set on the door. Pulling on my dick and stroking it to a guy named Rick. Eric Church has a big old hog. Bigger than a fucking old oak tree log. And we're cutting it down and we're burning it up real good. Salt in the air. I'll never know what this is. Honey, shake down your hair. Would it be whatever you've searched for here? No, Even it's not. she's like, I don't know these songs. This is gay shit. He's like, honey, shake down your hair. 
I hope there's a pair of balls down there. Cause if there ain't, then I ain't got no Jolly Ranchers to suck on. Eric Church people break. And yes, I was listening to Eric Church before the show because I'm not allowed to listen. Just drinking a jar of molasses. What is going on here? So I'm during the show. This is difficult for me. Aren't you not supposed to listen to it during the show anyways because it gets us popped? What is he? Every day he's got a different drinking vessel and a different sludge, that a different slurry that he's just sipping on. Sometimes it's a Yeti. Sometimes it's a Celsius. Today he's just got red wine in a mason jar. <laughs> I don't give a shit about that part. I don't that that part doesn't bother me. Okay. But yeah, let's get some Melton Country AI. See if you can make any of the country. <laughs> see if you can make them talk in a in a twang. How would you even do that? You have to say shit like jitterbug and <laughs> my country tis of thee. But I have kind of like five. He goes with his wrists again. Tree artists that I listen to all the What is that? There's like five country artists that I listen to all the time. <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? What is he doing? <laughs> kind of like five country artists that I listen to all the time. And so can I He's so fucking noodly. He's so fucking noodly. Can kind of rotate them out from time to time. It's just that Eric Church is the son of that solar system. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. God. I got five country artists that I masturbate to, but Eric Church is like the pinnacle. He's like the son of the solar systems that the other men revolve around with their hard bodies hello uh it's teal hank i can't talk patrick i'm at the gym hey i never called you the big fat guy what the fuck that was teal hank too that was him man teal hank i never called you again i think i don't even think they're lying i think they mix me up with other people Imagine me calling someone else the big fat guy. You know, I call Chad fat boy and piggy just to fuck with him. But I'm well aware I'm, I'm, I have the more impressive largesse. <laughs> and the rotating planets are like Luke Combs. Whoa. Chris Young. Uh, all good. Uh, Why is all of his rotating ones better than he is? No, no. But the show Steel Toe, they started with rock. But if you check movies, movies uh, iPod, it's all just twangy men. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Eric, Eric Church is the best one. Uh, Thomas Rhett? No, I'm not a big Thomas. There's no other human that we could have mixed Melton up with. Hold on. Why are you saying we? I, I, I guarantee I never said T.O. Hanks the big. Where's the big fat guy? Like, because again, there's just 19 people that described there. So oh, not, no, I thought you thought we were doing like inspired by him. No, 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 no. I meant the ones I listened to. Oh, like well, it'll be Luke Combs, Chris Young, and then sorry. throw in like a Clay Walker yes. or um, Clay Walker. Uh, Randy Travis or something like that. Throw one of those in there. Uh, David Allen Coe, Merle. As long as old men sit and talk about the weather. As long as old women sit and talk about old men. Haggard. Uh, but Eric Church is definitely the son, so I lost my son. So I got to I gotta go. Uh, oh, no, you're chasing that dragon. You're trying yeah, to fill the so point. Now I'm Listening to, to twangy country men is what he calls chasing that dragon <laughs> giggle mcfucksticks writes eric church really please don't wear that prince shirt ever again hey bud i don't listen to prince's music however purple rain was playing in the background the first day i got fisted my wrists only hurt for a couple days after that too and it wasn't purple rain it was paisley park <laughs> Yeah, like how do you wear a Prince shirt, but you're into Eric Church?
Right, so Chasing the Dragon, I'm God. listening to all my other favorite songs. And I, uh, April and I were, have been singing this one a lot lately. So I'd pay to just hear them walking around their house singing the hits. I've uh, th- this is this might be where have all the super chats gone the one that kind of takes over for it uh it, it's it's a lovely song by Chris see Young you see you around Chris Young has two songs like this he has I'm coming over and tomorrow mm-hmm. and there's songs about people who are breaking up Your manner is... Just kidding. Just kidding. Can you imagine, though? I mean, how do they not see it? (laughs) Come on. But they don't want to go try to fuck anybody else because you you might strike out. So they're like, why don't we go with old Dependable? And why why don't we just go bang the X? You see that a little differently than I do. I think these songs are more like, I just can't stop being with you this way. They ain't staying together. Well, of course they're not. No, but the they whole, I love their, they're listening to songs going like, these guys are fucked. These guys are fucked. <laughs> Paul Buffano. Paul Buffano. Hello, Paul Buffano. I so fuck, can't stop. That's so good. Stop fucking you. Is what the whole doing. song is about how they're terrible for each other. But yes. look, we're going to fuck because, you know, that's the one. Usually if you're in a relationship and it goes terribly, you can still fuck right. That's usually Maybe the how only it goes. good thing you are it, the only thing you're right. good at. There yes. might be I, I know I've been in relationships where you know you stuck it out a little longer than maybe you should. Cause the the, the fucking was good. So this <laughs> look at her face. <laughs> I've been in relationships where I stuck it out longer than you could because the fucking was good. And this is her face. (laughs) She's like, what's that like? This song and tomorrow are basically songs of, I know I shouldn't be here. I know I should be moving on, but I got to get my dick wet. (sighs) Like, I don't even... I don't even know. Like, hearing him talk about sex is, like, so confusing. Because he's always like, I'm a sex guy. I mean, he actually said those words once. None of these country artists he named are actual twangy country music. They're pop artists in flannel for teenage girls. Mooby is a limp-wristed faggot. F- Kraut Cat would know. I'm 50. Thompsies, <laughs> <laughs> I got my sights set on you. And I'm ready to aim. I have a heart that will never be tamed. I knew you were something special when you spoke my name. Now, I can't wait to see you again. The last time I freaked out, I just kept looking down. I stuttered. When you asked me what I'm thinking about felt like I couldn't breathe, you asked what's wrong with me. My best friend Leslie said, oh, she's just being Miley. The next time we hang out, (laughs) I will redeem myself. My heart, it can't rest till then. Oh, wah, wah. I, I can't wait to see you again. She's just being Miley. Am I, is that? No, that's spot on. Inaccurate. And here we go with the pineapple mug. Aloha, beaches. Do you think they've ever been to Hawaii? They've been to Hawaii. Their life sucks. So we're going to go through the two Chris Young, I got to get my dick wet with the X songs. And we're going to see which one's better. Gay. Pretty gay. Ha! Gay! I mean, I'm going to turn it off. I can't even. I Like, I, I don't even want to be a part of this. It's it's too bad. We're going to back to their other show. Other people, but I want to get it back. Yes. No! No, don't be it for other people. Do That's what, impossible listen, for many no, people. No, no, listen. <laughs> He's telling April how to, how to not stress. 
And it's the most confusing advice. It makes no sense at all. Um, oh no, stuttering John. Aaron, you need a bull. I have a 16-inch gorilla dick. I can strap on and make you see Jesus. Yeah, night. We gotta talk. Quit leaving your fake man member laying around. I tripped over the goddamn thing and broke the fucking coffee table. Can you see Stuttering John tripping over his 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 little daughter's Packer penis? <laughs> I'm, I'm getting to something bigger than this. You're you're looking too small. A black. Yeah, nobody sees it like Aaron. Aaron's got all the angles. Who? Oh yeah, the bitch. I think. You, taste. I didn't say tasty. Um. When I, <laughs> when I say that I'm an optimist, yes, I don't mean like if you need optimism, I give you optimism. You don't like being touched. Sheesh. Um, well, most people are just like we're being poked. Like I'm a poker. It's a weird thing. I'm uh, a poker. I'm a joker. I'm a midnight toker. It's like a step under being spit on. I get my. Lo- I'm a giant pole smoker. Ooh, right in my mouth, baby. So here's the thing about optimism. You say, you, you're thinking small. You say, you only come when you... And you're going, for that person, I want to be that. That's a lie then. Then you're being phony. Then you're not being authentic. You're not being you. You're being what you think that person needs you to be. Here's what you need to do. And this is what I am. And this is what I need to stop having beaten out of me. I am the optimism. This is... I mean, I talked to so many people this weekend. They were like, you... You, like, ruined their lives. <laughs> and I don't know about that, but, like, I've definitely ruined their show. Like, you know, their lives? I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'd argue you're retarded for doing a contest that, again, it's just very, it, w- it would be very easy to make that compliant with all laws. But they are not interested in that. They don't listen to advice. They didn't listen to Carl. Carl told him it was illegal. Carl told him they're probably, like, doing some shady shit. He didn't like Melton going after him, but Carl even told him, like, yeah, it is, like, highly not legal what they're doing. And they just, they literally laughed. They were like, oh, yeah, did you get us, Melton? Did you get, I mean, imagine if that's really what it is. I don't, you know, I don't believe any of these informants, but we have a lot of people who seem to be well-informed about this, saying that this is what it is. They're disbanding the company. It's tax stuff. The attorney attorney general, they're being sued. This is like a Walter White speech, except in reverse. I'm a white hat, not a black hat. You know, I'm I'm not the one who is optimistic for that person. I am the one who is the optimism. I'm the one who knocks. I am- April's like, I know that reference. I'm the one who knocks. I'm the one who cooks meth, allegedly. It's like, great stuff, Abe. Great stuff, Abe. I can see why you told her to quit the factory. You're like, if you just come do all the jokes I do right after me, we'll be unstoppable. Just wait till I make a joke, then just repeat it in your words, and then we'll be kidding. (laughs) Sitting down. Here, here's the. the, She's kidding. She doesn't really make meth, guys. I love when they go. (laughs) I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I kid. I kid. How do y'all? Much like Garth Brooks, I have a side. (gasps) I have an alternate country cowboy character named All Fat No Cattle. Pretty funny. Does this sound like a country accent yet? Let's go two-stepping and line dancing and drink some beer. Didn't work. Aaron. Um, I sure search his pop, but to just uh, Melton, here's how you chase that purple dragon. What the fuck? What the fuck? I wish, hey, Moody, I don't know if you're listening, but I wish I could scrub on this uh, playback control because I can pause them now, which is great. But I wish I could scrub it back. Let's re. See, I don't want to restart it. I want to scrub it back. Bouncing off my booty cheeks. I love the way he rides. I can hardly breathe when he's pumping deep inside. I kiss him on his neck and then he kisses on my bussy. Call him daddy while I holler, man. That boy's so damn good looking. 
Hit my asshole button. Hit my asshole button. My bussy? I love my bussy. Put it in my bussy. Here's the Walter White speech. Uh, when optimism knocks at the door, you think of the person cowering on their knees, and you think that of me? No. I am the one who knocks. I am more fucking positive and decent and nice, and I need to just do that. And when people go, Ugh, what's that? I go, fuck you. You don't know. You just wait. So one of Aaron's favorite things is making up conversations and how he's going to own everybody. Yeah, what I need to do when, they, when they're like, you're not, I'll be like, fuck you, I am. And then they'll just shrivel up and die, and I'm the winner. <laughs> what do you want from me, guys? I'm sorry. You know? You guys come at me. I tell you what's what. You guys all go, he's an idiot. And then I'm right. You know? It's just hard being Aaron. You know? I don't, I don't know why everybody's so hard on me. You know? It's just, you guys say that you're... You know, you, you want to fight and stuff, and then I just, you know, all I do is go, I don't want to fight. I'm right about everything. And then, you know, I don't know why everybody can't just see that that's the way things are around me. <laughs> Watch me. Because I have watched this uh, poor, beautiful thing struggle with things, uh, struggle with uh, people and things and stuff recently. The way he's defending her now. Makes me think he's thrown her under the bus for whatever this thing is. If it is indeed a steel toe business thing, a tax thing, he made her the GM of operations. He's throwing her under the bus, and now he's offering her support because he feels guilty. He's like, she's beautiful. She's magnificent. She's strong. She's going to get through this. She just needs to cheer up. She's amazing. She's an amazing mother, even though she's never had kids and can't. She's amazing. You're going to get through this, April. I just know it'll work out. And even if it doesn't, it's you, not me. <laughs> and, and, or sings. And I have realized, I realized in the car today, I am letting myself be told what I am, who I am, instead of just... He admits all this is getting to him. I got to stop letting people take the wind out of my sails. I got to stop letting people bring me down. I got to stop letting people tell me what I am, who I am. Be who the fuck you are. And if people don't like it in that moment, that doesn't necessarily mean you're wrong. That could This is wild. I mean, imagine having this breakdown at the beginning of your show. <laughs> like, we just got to be who we are, ape. We got to stop letting the haters ruin everything and tell us what we are, gaslighting the positivity out of us. This is public. Do they know it's on? I mean, look at her face. She's not buying any of this. Her eyes are closed. She's like, oh, boy, Aaron's on one of his Celsius rants. Let's get Aaron another energy drink to bloviate some more. I mean that they're not in a place to receive it. Are you referring to me right now? No, I'm You're referring like, to the fucking about? world. Jeesh. I'm tired of, no. Jeesh. Jeesh. I want a shirt that just says, jeesh. <laughs> jeesh. I wish we could go to our old church. Oh, Are you, like, looking at what's happening to me and you're, like, being yes. introspective? Yes. Okay, because that's I'm a looking confusing. at what's happening to you, and Ugh. I'm going, this poor fucking person with the things they're going through. I mean, it, if this is Steel Toe, why is he not going through it? I, I just don't buy that it's Steel Toe or Attorney General or business related. Only she's going through it. I, I need more evidence. I'm sorry. I just don't like, there's no way. What is it? An hour away, an appointment. What is it? He doesn't seem worried at all. He seems almost giddy that it's happening to her. He's ruined her credit, and when she leaves him, she won't have shit. She's got some sort of cancer. Yeah, are they going to get a biopsy done? Exhausted. And then you're trapped inside yourself going, I know what the solution is. I know what the answer is. I know what I am. I know what I can do for everybody around me. And those people are so sad and fucking miserable that they convince you that you're not.
but it's because they're upset. It's why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Oh my god, stop fucking lying! Because they're miserable. It's because they're unhappy. Watch Melton do his show. He never smiles. He never laughs. Everybody in AC knows he's a miserable fuck. All those laughs are fake. He does. He's not like that in person. He's never, ever high pitched laughing with other people. He never rolls. I mean, me and Rocco were giggling like girls. And everybody's like, listen to them fake laughing. It's like, you know what you'll never see me do? This face. I don't have it in me. <laughs> if I ever do that, I'm in trouble. If you ever catch me making this face, I'll quit. It hurts. It hurts. This is panic. This is pure panic on a man. This is not positive. This is a guy who's not worried about anything. This is not a guy who knows everything will be okay. This is a guy who makes $29 a show. This is a guy that makes $29 a show. Hit the like button. We've got, I mean... One gifted membership, it said, John's Neglected Cat. One gifted, we've had 73 this show. Gift a membership to a friend. <laughs> We're heading back to 1,500. We're heading back up to 1,500 memberships. This, If I ever make this face, I'm done. <laughs> I mean, that is, that's Kleinfelter country. And that's when you need to be, if you're an optimist and a positive and a happy, funny person, that's when you need to be that the most. Look at her. She's not buying any of his shit. He keeps making these crazy postures and statements. She's just like, I am so sick of Aaron's advice. Double A. <laughs> when those people say they don't want it, that's when you need to be it. This show got way fucked up because April hasn't been here for a few days, and I don't want her to have to hide the fact that she's having a tough time. I mean, no, you're throwing her under the bus. You're pointing out that she's having a tough time, and you've done nothing but that since the show started 10 minutes ago. I wasn't going to. And I'm I, usually very, very honest. Yes, that. and that's what's beautiful about this. I was going to text you today, but you were not in a position to receive it, and I... I was going to text you today, but you're not in a position to receive it. I was going to text you today, but you're not in a position to receive it. I don't even know what that means. Shmuel Buckman, it's a child support hearing. He wants a reduction. Why is she going through it then? It doesn't make any sense. And that does remind me. By the way, uh, well, no, just never mind. Dr. J. Crow, M. Holt House of Minnesota, M. Holt House to Minnesota Department of Revenue, one hour drive. Yeah, but I imagine it's just like the county seat or something, right? Or, or even the state capital is an hour away. Then, like all the government stuff is an hour away. Could be anything. They could be going to pay a parking ticket. LL Cool, it, it, look, it's captivating and interesting. LL Cooley, uh, member for eleven months. We know in fourteen days if it's concerning the pro we'll know in fourteen days if it's concerning the prize show. They won't do one if it is. It's an audit, in my opinion. See what Hackamania VIP baby at the beautiful Hilton Grand. Yeah. Yeah, please make sure. I can't stress this enough. If you buy a ticket to Hackamania, I, I, I mean, I'm going to say this a lot. It's all over the website. I've said it on Twitter. 
We're not printing out badges with the name you give on it. So you don't have to put a funny name. And even more importantly, if you do not put your government ID name on your ticket, it will be worthless. I will. There will be 10 people there that fail to do this and don't listen. You can change the name on your ticket one time. If you make a mistake, if you want to sell your ticket, once, anytime before 72 hours before the event, you can change a name on a ticket one time. Simply email hello at hackamania.com. We'll get that done for you. If you've put a funny name or a username or a public name on your ticket that does not match your government name on your ID that you present on the day of to pick up your badge, your ticket will be null, void, and worthless. I can't say it enough, and people will get mad. This is what it is. So if you put down... For your name, Dr. Steve, as an example. You do need to get that fixed. You do need to get that fixed up before the event. Unless your ID says Dr. Steve. Steve, comma, doctor. And uh, this is a security requirement of the venue. If anything, we're not, we're not, it's not Chad Zumok's event. This is a real event. It's being run right. We're going to know who's there. If anything goes down, we're going to know who's there. We're going to know who people are on camera throughout the venue. You know, it's just a, no one's doxing anybody. I saw somebody's like, this is just the way he can dox you. It's like, oh, you bought the ticket with a credit card using your real name and address. Our, we technically already have it. But the tickets, we do need the names on the tickets. Sheila Alien says it's racism, and I couldn't agree more. It is racism. If you end in, if your name is Rodriguez, Martinez, Dominguez, somebody said, can I use my trans name? You can use any name as long as it matches the name on your ID, or you'll get no. And again, we're not printing it on the badge, so you don't have to worry about us doxing you or anything like that. If we have name tags, you can write down Dr. Steve or Captain Obvious or anything you want. We don't care how you present to people. But we're going to know. We're going to know who you are. <laughs> he turned on the radio. And them sad old songs coming out of them. Speakers was solid country gold. Then I noticed the stranger was ghost white pale. When I asked him for a light, and I knew there was something strange about this ride. He said, Drifter, can you make folks cry when you play and sing? Have you paid your dues? Can you moan the blues? Can you bend them guitar strings? Can you? He said, boy, can you make folks feel what you feel inside? Call me P-Melt, not Jelly Roll. Howdy, partners. Everything is great. Now, honey, please strip down to a bikini and show your tiny teats and tuna tunnel for donations. Tiny teats and tuna tunnel. Sounds like an order at a small town diner. Yeah, I'll have the tiny teats and tuna tunnel. Does that come with salad or fries? Let's see how Kevin pronounces this. Um, and she will my right coming out, get for the Walmart for Encina and uh, T and say, see, and and a J900 door around, uh, chart 10. Yo, shut the fuck up, Ray. Stevie, I do your plugs, uh, except for Chisa, but see, don't plug BY Belly. Bumbaklot here on the island, man. We don't tolerate them racist BYB boys. Boyakasha, stay the fuck out of my reggae town wheels. Boyakasha here on the island. We don't tolerate them BYB boys. Them BYB boys. <laughs> the Bumbaklot BYB boys. <laughs> I think BYB is having steel toe on later. That's where. That's where both of them are. First of all. You know, you can't talk these guys out of being friends with Steel Toe. They think Steel Toe's awesome. Stevie Lou and Quadfather, they're just like, it's pretty dope, dude. It's pretty dope. I don't know how you're not a fan. Aaron's pretty cool. 
And then Aaron now is going on. Aaron and April are going on on BYB to try to get into the Dabbleverse. Now they ran away. They said they were better. It was a. It was a. It was short money. Remember when they kept saying like all these guys are short money. All these guys don't know how to do a show, and now they're begging for Melton. They're begging for Chad. And now they're, and they're going to try to go on BYB to maybe, because now Quad and Stevie are in with Kevin a little bit. Maybe they'll get in that way. Pathetic. Guys, that's short money. That's short money. It's like short money, $36 a show. Uh, Yikes. So now BYB is having steel toe on. Pathetic. Pathetic stuff. I didn't want to fuck it up. Doing this as long as I have, I have always found it in a sick way easier to be honest here than in real life. Because in real life, you worry. How is the person going to hear it? How are they going to receive it? This way, it's said into a microphone. It's, it's recorded. You can play it shit. back 16 times. I said what I said, and I'll defend it as long as I'm honest. And when it comes to, I have a bad habit of when people tell me they're sad or they're bad or they're mad and they don't want to hear something, I shrink. and I, Or they're glad or they're Chad or they're rad. I back the fuck off, and I need to stop doing that. I will be who I know myself to be, which is good, Wait. positive, funny, decent. And it I know who I am. Good, funny, decent, smart, and people like me. If people don't want that, then they can push me out, and that's fine. Well, that is what's happening. But I'd rather do that than let them just be mad and angry and have no wait wait and have no counter to that at all. And then you're just gonna get run ah. over and killed, and you're gonna be out the door anyway. So why not die the way you are? Go out on your shield if you're gonna die anyway. And the fact is, when you put that shield <laughs> up, sometimes up, you win. You don't die. That's how you win those one in a millions. Because Aaron's won so many one in a millions, you know. I have to be perfectly honest. We should have an anniversary to acknowledge the way I work through abonics. Abonics. So, yes, um, when it comes to people being sad and angry, I can't go down into that with them because I'm better than I'm the one who picks people up. I'm the one who's optimistic. Yes, but, but I, do I that don't too. Pick, No, you try to pick individuals up when they need it. Idiot. No, for the people I care about, I very much try to be that ray of sunshine all the time. Aaron has never said so much bullshit in one show. All of this advice is like chaotic and makes no sense. Right. That's what you need to be. Right. But not for them. For you. Well, I very much live and talk to people the way, like, very honestly. And I think I've been actually most honest in my life in the last couple months. L life? Uh, I don't hold anything back anymore. When I have something to say to somebody to address a behavior of theirs, I fucking say it. Yeah, but this will somehow be wrong as well. You know, go like, yeah, but you're doing it wrong. You know, I can tell that when you, you say you speak your mind, but you don't really... Or he'll be like, no, you should hold it closer to the vest. You know, it'll whatever she just said will be wrong. Watch. Yeah, but no. now wait a minute. Um, See? No, but I have I actually have a twist on that that'll make you completely incorrect. Mm -hmm. But if you're saying it, here's where that's a mistake. So Whoa! You can do this with everything she says. He'll just pick it apart. Sometimes. That's not necessarily honesty. <laughs> that is rash that's not honesty whoa that is a, a knee-jerk rash reaction you're being emotional you're doing it wrong emotional damage uh, what's the word i'm thinking of that's knee-jerk yes if you go he said the thing he said that what i said <laughs> i say what i'm feeling i in contemplate the i don't like just like spew like words still wrong Still incorrect. You got to have a little tact here. Like, maybe you're misreading me. I, no, I will say this. No, I'm not misreading you. I will say this. You're incompletely, you're, you're in just a bad headspace. 
I was going to text you earlier, but you weren't ready to receive it. I mean, imagine saying that to your wife. I was going to text you earlier, but you were not in a place to receive it. You didn't deserve my text. This in no offense if we're having an honest conversation. Whoa, counseling much right here. Oh, hi, Mark. You do say things impulsively. Whoa! She t- she he admitted she said thing from time to time. We all do. What I'm saying is. Oh wait, did you catch that? Did you catch her little glance? Like she, he's so full of shit. She's in this place because he says impulsive things. Honest conversation. Okay, he he just said, can we have an honest conversation and watch the smirk? No, I will say this. In no offense if we're having an honest conversation. Right there. You do say things impulsively from time to time. We all do. Now she's looking at the camera like, you buy this bullshit? I don't. What I'm saying is. <laughs> she knows you know. She's like, we know, you know, he knows. I see those things change day to day. Things change, Mark. Hour to hour. That's how you know whether it's me, whether it's She is just biting her tongue. You, whether it's other people you're dealing with, that's how you know it's not honest. You're not trying to lie, but it's not honest if it keeps changing. (laughs) What the fuck? Because that means you haven't thought it through. You haven't waited. You haven't waited to see what these feelings are. You don't know what the honest feeling is because you're being hurt. You're being pulled. You're being poked. You're being prodded. She's like, yeah, but enough about you and the show. So, therefore, the only honesty that exists is not the honesty to everyone else because that is fleeting. It changes with different people. The only honesty you have is the honesty you have to yourself, and then you project that out to the world. And that's the honesty that people can see. What? Mm -hmm. When you talk to people one-on-one, we all have a tendency to cater it to what they need. That's not honest. When I, here, don't get me wrong. I mean, what is this? When I talk to people that I very much care about and love and I see something that needs to be addressed, I don't say it just for whatever they need. If I'm in their life, too, I try to make it so that this is going to be cohesive and positive for everybody here. How can we make this shit better for everyone? Remember when they were attacking Chad and she said, I hope you never stop doing this to him? She tries to help everybody, make it cohesive and fun. Right? I've been doing that a lot I don't know if that's right, though. That's people-pleasing. Yep, you're still wrong. Even though you're saying what I just said, you're still incorrect, April. Let me tell you why. That's different. Oh, you're reading me wrong. Okay. No, he's not reading you wrong. You're just never going to be right. Ape, like, how are you not getting this yet? You're never going to be right. John's neglected cat gifted five nobody likes onions membership again. Follow him. What is it? Neglected underscore cat ny on Twitter. This guy's counting all the show's money every mug fucking day. It's good. It's good. You don't need anyone to tell you if the numbers are up or down anymore. Just go. Just go watch John's neglected cat. You can decide for yourself. Listen to my dog out there. Um, APAR, member for four months. April is going through something, but Aaron is trying to set up a fight at Hackamania. Household broken. Yeah, I mean, it's just pathetic. Uh, they, they can't, it's too late. It's too late. You're irrelevant. You threw everybody away because you were too good for everybody. And now you need clout. You need views. You need Chad Zumach. You need BYB. You tell me. You tell me who need BYB. Clifford, uh, gifting one membership. Thank you very, very much, Clifford. Single mother of five, KB flat out told Stevie Lou to not plug BYB in the last show. Now, why is Kevin turning on Quadfather? And, and soon he'll make Stevie Lou choose, you know? 
And the problem is these guys will all choose KB. I mean, I, I saw it in Stevie Lou's eyes this weekend. He's he's a KB guy. Father Joe gifting five Nobody Likes Onions memberships. We are at Alma. We're at 79 memberships today. Can you fucking believe this? 80 memberships. 80 memberships. Jesus fucking Christ. You're going to hurt Steel Toe. They're going to be hurting about this. Kevin, a uh, boy, you're a real dirty gal. Not true. Always laughing your things all over the place like you're not have no sense. Me cha deal with the nastiness that you bring round here. Bumbo clot. The money run out upon me again. Me need to make some big money moves to make it back. No more likely thing. A big bankroll me up right now. I don't speak Newport. Jesus Christ. I'll do them later. B uh, Stevie Lou's not on BYB anymore. You sure about that? You sure about he's not on BYB anymore? You sure about that? I think he is. I think it's all a work. Not a people pleaser. But you're saying, how can I improve this for everyone? That shouldn't be the goal of your communication. The goal of your Goodness. communication is... I'm not getting this out correctly. Okay. I mean, we're watching how they fight right here. No matter what she says, it's incorrect. He's not making an attempt to, like, bridge their understanding here. He just keeps telling her she's wrong. She's doing it wrong. She doesn't think about it enough. She thinks about it too much. Hello. This is the quad. You want uh, some answers, I guess? Yeah, it's about time you give us some answers. No, I, I, Stevie and you are fine, right? No, he's not on BYB anymore. He's Whoa. been there twice since. He's been on twice since uh, Stuttering John was on a month ago. And whatever, we do four shows a week, so he's showing up like a show and a half. But it was a work. He told me it was all a work. So what's the problem? Yeah. Well, it's working out. It's still working. He's just not going to be there, but it still works. So you actually don't like Stevie Lou? I never said I didn't like him. I just said that we have a difference of opinion and we went different routes. And the the work thing. It was about Kate what, Meany? Well, I mean, that that whole situation definitely started this. Uh, him playing works and messing around and pissed our fans off. So we just figured, hey, uh, we'll just move on from from this point forth. He can just do his thing and we'll do our thing. He started his own YouTube channel. That was another piece of it, too. So I think he thinks he's going to be a, a solo show guy. But we'll see. We'll but, see how that works. But are you still okay with KB? Yeah. Yeah, I have no issues with him. I don't I don't know what the whole don't plug BYB thing was about yesterday. I, he has said that a ton of times in the past. But he quit doing that because I thought it seemed like he was cool with us. But... Well, he's back to doing that. I don't know. Maybe someone told him something about us he didn't like. I have no. I cannot. I cannot get into Kevin Brennan's mind. It could nor literally. Can else. It could literally be you calling into this show, Kevin, hearing it and going like, "Fuck those guys! They were melting." Exactly. <laughs> and in a month, he'll forget about it, and he'll be like, "Oh, I like Quad Five. Right. Yeah, Thank there's you. there's no exactly. logic to Kevin. So the good news is, if you're if you're on the outs, give it a minute. And if you think you're doing well with him, also give it a minute. <laughs> Stay tuned. All right, man. Yeah, and we do we do have Still Toe on tonight. Uh just to let you know. Hey, don't there plug BYB. That, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I hope they plug BYB. No. Uh there are crossover fans just to let you know that watch your show, my show, Still Toe. Yeah, of course. Watch all of this of shit. Of course. And, so, and 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 I never so, like no matter what Chad says, I never tell people I don't give a fuck what you do. The, it, it, it is funny, though, that now Steel Toe needs you more than you need Steel Toe. Like, they've really, like, even if you're a fan of them, you know their numbers are absolute dog shit compared to what they were a year ago, and they need back in. They're asking for me. They're asking for Chad. They're going on you. They need it. Well, uh, yeah, they're going to get that BYB rub, baby. Yeah, it's really gonna it's gonna rub. set both of you really apart in the universe. All right, BYB, what time tonight? Uh, he'll be on at ten o'clock Eastern. Ten o'clock Eastern. In. All right, thank you. We'll, we'll, 
we're starting at nine, but he's going to pop on about 10. So if that's what you want, that's what you get. Is, is, I heard Lemmy's going to get in a bikini and show and point to her ass a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We were looking at songs today. I think we picked out a good one for the show. Uh, yeah. Granny picked out a really nice onesie for the show. He's going to look very professional and he'll be prepared. All right. Thank you, Quad. Yeah, thanks. Later. That's a nice guy. It's a nice man. If you don't know what we're talking about, uh, Aaron has set, is now making April get in a bikini for money, and they're still earning like $50 a show. She's sitting there in a bikini. She's getting up. She's bending over. She's pointing to her ass. She's shaking it. I'm not even kidding you. While he sits there next to her just going like, hmm, wow, hmm, this better get some donations. That's where we're at. That's where we're at. We're moments, we're, we're cascading rapidly towards her setting up an OnlyFans. It's only a matter of time. I, I'm not even kidding. Like, it's, it's pathetic. We might not have time for it today because look at all this, but it's, Worse than we ever thought. I was watching on Pat Dixon's show um, Tuesday night. If we if we have a minute, we'll get to the bikini thing. It, it's fucking wild. They're trying everything for money. Now. It's getting pathetic. You know? How much would I get if I showed my hog on, uh, on the program? Tiff, five gifted memberships. How dare you? <laughs> And that's the sound of the Shuley Network hearts breaking everywhere. Just kidding. As we've seen, they're making more than anybody. I think John's neglected cat calculated. Uh, if, correct me if I'm wrong. I think he said that at this rate, they're pulling in over half a million a year. And by the way, this doesn't count Patreon. Where he still has 600 or something subscribers. So that's a few thousand a month. I mean, if you're, look, if you're making, if you, if you grow, if you net 1500 a day, a thousand a day, you could pay three people that I, I, I don't, I don't know how thin it gets spread. I have no idea what the Shuley network is anymore. Is it still, are they still doing replayables? Are they bringing on any new talent? Are they signing on any new shows? That's a thing, or is it? Is it literally Uncle Rico and BS show and emergency episodes now? Of Oof. okay, go ahead. No, I'm just not getting it out. To try one more time. I'll listen more. Uh, I'm trying to address a problem so that it can be better. Right. In general, not just something somebody needs to hear. Like I think they want to hear. I'm saying needs to hear so that they're yeah, that's wrong. You're doing it wrong. Just shaking it better so it doesn't happen again. I attempt. To help or give advice in a manner. Watch him tell her she's wrong. So that this problem would, doesn't happen again. I would have agreed with you. Until you said. Three hours ago. Let me offer this. Whoa. I would have agreed with you three hours ago. Now he just said. If you constantly change your opinion. Then you shouldn't give it. Because you haven't really thought it out well enough. But now he's allowed to change his opinion. Yeah, three hours ago you were right, but now things have changed. <laughs> let, just let me offer this. Think about it. I'm not. This isn't an argument, anything like that. Just think. Nope. Think about this for a minute. Okay. When we say, "Tell them what we need, what they need to hear," a is that not us taking away their agency? Because you've no, now decided. Because well, they you've don't now have decided to, what they, they don't need have to. Hear. to He thinks telling someone what you think they need to hear takes away their agency. I mean, that makes no sense at all. That's not. This makes no sense. He just wants to say wrong, wrong. Take my advice and like sure. take it as gospel. You're saying it's what my you think advice. They need this to is hear. if they're offering up an issue to me, I assume that they are willing to hear my opinion and my advice or. Look at him grinning. Nope, you're wrong again, ape. Or they shouldn't give it to me. But is it that? I don't that... give people my problems if I don't expect an opinion back. Oh, but honey. Or some advice. Oh, but honey. Honey. 
I've made a huge mistake. Back. Me, me too. But here's the problem. Here's why you're always fucking wrong. And here's where you and I. Here's got here's, deep, you guys. Here's where you fall into that cancer that is me being ten percent of people. Yeah, I'm just a rare bird. Wait, April looks like a really cool bird. April looks like a really cool bird today. You are like me in that sense, but most people are not. Most people aren't like us, babe. Rebels. Loners. Most people want to bitch about their problems. They don't want advice. Take That's it from wrong. some. Aaron never comes on and bitches about what's going on with the show. I have learned that, and that hasn't been me always. Sometimes people do bitch, and I have bitched in the past about a problem and then been upset that somebody offered an opinion. Now, I would say in the last year, year and a half, I have completely omitted telling certain people about my problems because I don't want their opinions. I only tell people now my problems if I need their opinion or advice back. It's, it's just a waste of, like, air and breath, like, to, to talk about it otherwise, in my opinion. I Unless they preface it with, I don't want anything, I just need a sympathetic ear, right. or I need you to listen, and that's it. I've always that's been different. someone who just says, look, man, I'm just venting. Like, I'm just, I'm spitting. When it comes to what you said about, you know, um, when I say I don't want to say things to certain people, for me, it's because I'm afraid of what they'll say back. It won't jive with what I want. Mooby's afraid to tell people certain things because he's afraid of what they'll say back. That's very much you. Yes, we have learned that about Aaron I think that's, lately. But that's you. That's not necessarily because I... I mean, this is a real, real argument. <laughs> this is all their show becomes lately, especially at night when they've been drinking all day. I've been accepting of a lot of people's opinions that counteract what I'm thinking. Because that it's interesting sometimes to hear a new thing and be like, okay, there's other reasons for that. Look at him. <laughs> Ryobi wants in. Hold on, I'm not connected yet. Of course you're not. But anyway, um, no. Of course you're not. Of course you're not. Oh, I'll, I'll tell you this. I am tired. I had, like I said, I had an epiphany in the car. I'm tired of being defined. Is that a black woman? Yo! Epiphany! Find <laughs> by. I know I turned into Tracy Morgan. Yo, Epiphany! Hey, other people. I know what I am. I know who I am. I'm going to put that forward, and the world can accept or reject me. But I will not be told by others who and what I am, because that's when you start. Tr I know. That they know that I know who I am. And they're just jealous of how my confidence basically. Why is he always acting like he's, you know, in handcuffs? Trying to change, and that's when you fuck up. Well, yeah, of course, that's very true. So I've seen like women doing sign language for city council meetings who move their hands less. No matter who it is. <clears throat> I can't sit there and go, do they want this? Do they want this? Like, well, this is what I'm going to put out there. Well, and if it helps funny. people, great. Right. You don't want to live dishonestly. I really do value honesty big time. Whoa. Do ya? Do ya, though? Do ya? No. I really do. Hope so. <laughs> that, no, that's a good no, thing. No, really. I, I feel like it's never been more important to me than it is right now. Honesty or hearing what you want to hear? So honesty. Because there's a difference between 100%. honesty. Because oh, you're wrong again, wrong again, ape. People can be honest with you. I don't want to hear. And you can I don't hate want it. People to tell me what I want to hear. I want people to be honest. Because even if it goes against whatever thing I thought. Right. Because movie's been telling April for so long. We're making great money. Things are going great. Everything's awesome. What we're doing is not illegal. We're following the rules. Then the attorney general comes along and says, "No, you're not." And now she's just like, but my husband said. I can sit there and contemplate it and do what I think is the correct thing later. And not attack it? I shouldn't. That's good. All right, you're coming along, my wife. Program successful. That's a positive. That's a good step. But like I said, I mean, uh, 
I think if you're going to go down in life, go down fucking swinging. On your shield. Right? Swinging your shield. I'm, uh, I'm trying currently. Dr. <laughs> Silverwolf's, but go out with a smile on your face. Like yeah, it's hard sometimes ever, I know. when you're fucking tired. But here's the it's, deal. The last five days or so have been really rough. The- what in the fuck is going on? <laughs> the more people put their fucking sad oh. faces on, that's one step closer to failure. I try. The more people put their sad faces on, it's one step closer to pa- failure. Uh, uh, what? Chris Bueller, member for 10 months. I'll suck you off right here. It's true. I try to tell people that all the time. I go, if you're going to be down, you're going to die. Because you're, you're looking at the ditch. And if you're looking at the ditch, you ain't going in the road. I always tell people. If you are looking at the ditch, you ain't going in the road. And if you're looking at the road, you're not going to the carnival. And if you're at the carnival, you're definitely never going to make it over to the Lollapalooza. And if you're looking at the stars, you're never going to make it to the moon. And if you're looking at the space station, you're never going to end up at my grandma's house. And I tell people this all the time, but they don't believe me. But I tell them over and over and over. A guy like me... A man like me who knows what I want, who knows how to get things. A certain type of guy who knows all about, like, I can't can't with this. It's like he's trying to distract you with his hands. Like, don't pay too closely attention to the bullshit spewing out of my mouth. I'm doing, I got magic tricks over here. So, you know. If you're drinking Sprite, you'll never drink the Kool-Aid. And if you're drinking the Kool-Aid, you'll never drink a Sprite. And if you have a straw, you'll never need a sippy cup. My friends know how I am. Right, honey? Venmo, PayPal, Streamlabs, StreamYard, credit cards. Venmo, PayPal. Pay stream, PayPal, Venmo, Heartthrob, Peanut Pay, Whistle Box, hmm? that's why you're wrong. You're going in the ditch. So I'm always an I'm going on the road guy. But I'm so rare in that sense that I get I, I feel weird. I feel shamed. I feel judged. It's like he can't work his left arm without his right arm doing it. I chopped down the tree. It's like Can any of your arms move independently of each other? Or are you a puppet? Constantly for being that way. And I'm like, no, fuck that. I'll keep my car in the middle of the road. And if other people want to pit maneuver me into the ditch, hey, I did what I could. If I try to park and other people want to pay more for the same parking spot, then I'll just stay in the middle of the road. And if people want to key my car, then that's on them. But I know that the truth is I can keep my chin up as long as the tires are inflated and the yeah, it's it's literally just like I'm I'm such a unique bird that you know, people just can't fathom why I'm the one who keeps winning, you know? And I just look at everybody and keep telling them, like, I don't know what to tell you, man. I'm just awesome. But I'm not going to put myself in the ditch. Moob Jitsu. Yes, Rudy Vega. Because I think other people want me to treat them that way or say that thing or do that thing. I just have to be positive. I, he never stops this. She's got to be so sick of this shit. He's he's he looks like of course I'm right. This is wisdom. But look at her. She's just like he never ever ever stops talking like this and none of it makes sense. <laughs> I have to be the optimist that I am and then whoa! The fucking- whoa! Watch it. Be positive. I have to be the optimist that I am and then we'll see. You even can hear a little 
Listen for it. I have to be positive. I have to be the optimist that I am. And then we'll see. What- Do you hear it? I'll, I'll turn it up. I'll turn it up so you can hear her visibly go at the person she's chosen to spend life with. The- I have to be positive. I have to be the optimist that I am. And then we'll see. Almost like she's shitting. I have to be positive. I have to be the optimist that I am. And then we'll see. I have to be positive. I have to be the optimist that I am. And then we'll see. <laughs> see where the fucking chips fall, man. I feel like we're because, starting to spin our tires here. Because if you. I feel like we're starting to spin our tires here. You mean in the relationship? Lose your way. At least you lost honestly. If you lose trying to be. She's not even listening anymore. She's not even listening anymore. This is an eye roll with your eyes closed right here. What other people you think. Oh, wow. Little micro expression. Watch her head shake here. Lose your way. At least you lost honestly. If you lose trying to. She knows he's the most dishonest person in the world. He, he head, heads in a cloud, head up his ass. Watch the little head shake here. It goes. It's very small, but it goes, you'll see her go. Watch it. To be what other people you think want. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, she's a good girl. You to be. Then not only have you lost, but you've lost yourself along the way. And that's bad news. And Yep, it looks like she really believes that, Aaron. You got to her. You got to her. Great advice, pal. Thank you very much to Dr. Silverwolf for 10 bucks. He- <laughs> Is Dr. Silver worth... We're, 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 we'll- he says, Aaron's shield, a.k.a. buffet plate from China Star. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Silverworth with, with Silverwolf with another 10 bucks. Says BS, it's AI, mirrors, robot, alien, Johnny is a suit, a.k.a. not April. You look great, April. Really? Thank go. you. Do you not, I don't know where time went. I made myself supper tonight, yeah. and then there's just no time. You- I made myself supper tonight. Supper. It's what poor people call dinner. Uh, drive by. My advice to Aaron is that he should go fuck himself. Pretty rude. I don't know if he'll appreciate that. Um, beloved chatter, Aaron is essentially saying keep your mouth shut to the feds, April. Smile and take your sentence like a man on your shield swinging. No, I never. Once you explain it like that, it makes perfect sense. Keep your mouth shut to the feds. Smile and take your sentence like a man on your shield swinging. Come on, everybody. Swing those shields. You take the good. You take the bad. You take them both. And there you have the the facts of life. The The facts facts of of life. life. Yeah. He's like Mrs. Garrett. I'm 50. (laughs) Uh, She just said like she thought he was like. Oh, he's 10 years older. He's got the world figured out. He's self-employed. This is the man I'm going to pick to help me navigate life. And then she just realized he's the most full of shit, disingenuous sack of garbage you've ever met in your life. LL Cooley, Aaron is saying he's not quitting his radio dream. He's going down with the ship and taking the family with him. Yeah, he'll get a new one. He'll get a new one. I mean, 28-year-old girls are the dumbest and easiest girls to fool. It really, you'll get another one. You'll get another one. Women women are happy to just keep keep uh, swinging from man to man being kept, especially talentless, you know, idiots. Like, I, I, you feel, you do, you do feel bad for April. You can't help. 
but feel bad for April. This is the sentiment around the internet, everywhere that I go. People are starting to like really feel for this woman because you understand she's being, we're seeing it live now. She's being gaslit. She's being manipulated. She's being talked down to her, her. You know, no matter what she says, she gets told she's wrong. The arms are crossed. It's, it's never good. She rolls her eyes openly at the man. I mean, if, if, if my woman ever rolled her eyes like that, I'd put her through the fucking wall. Because I abuse women. Hit the like button. <laughs> you know, enough's enough. Life is hard. Life is hard, everybody. Especially for seal toe. Would you like to see Tuesday night, the bikini incident? I mean, it seems like they just keep looking for ideas to make money. And one of them is the bikini incident. They did a show called Swingers Are Divorced. So they're just trying to lean into it. I don't know how the show started. Let's just watch. With a woman... Sorry. It has its advantages, but God damn it. I didn't mean to. You never hear a guy put on headphones and go, ah, go, oh, go, oh, I got to take these off. Oh, it's all bad. Jesus. Welcome to the program. Ooh. I'm Aaron. That's April. We've got a hell of a show today. We've got people having. Oh, wow. They got a good show today. Okay. Sex at Travis Scott concerts. That's fun. Got me having sex after the show. Pencil it in. Also fun. Also fun. Didn't God. know we were announcing that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I... that was you know that was a Deontay Wilder speak it, believe it, receive it. Oh, well, you kind know of a what? Thing. I guess you didn't say it was with me. Steel <laughs> 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 <Feel> toe. <laughs> Two hundred forty dollars. You just yeah. said you were doing. That's the goal. <laughs> well, that's true. I am. A <laughs> you just said you were doing sex. You didn't say you were doing to me. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> is it too late to accept Brian and Mary Beth's offer to be their sister wife? I come bearing Mac salad and roofing skills. Jesus Christ. I mean, look, I'm not, this is not a cope. This is not a lie. Brian's wife is way cuter than this bitch. It's just a fact. <laughs> it's just a fact. Again, I, I don't know what she's doing with him. Um, not that I think I could steal her away, but you know, if she's that retarded, maybe, you know, maybe Mary Beth is that dumb. She just likes worse looking older men. In which case, you got a sister. No, I'm kidding. Come on. Respect, guys. She didn't you know what I was mad? She didn't wear her her purple nanner puss hoodie. But but uh the fabulous uh lady Bentley did wear her wear a nanner puss long sleeve shirt. A lot of people wearing MLC merch and LO merch. Peter Sky Parker had the gray logo, black long sleeve uh, knit in a low shirt. It looked sharp on him, man. His chiseled chest. I just kept laying down on his sternum, licking it. Ah, ah. Oh, no. Mary Beth Johnson just joined. She's got something to say. <laughs> Take me, Patrick. I'm yours. You're going to like the way you look. I know earlier today you were looking for some positive affirmations. My nephew Ray Ray and I can say your hump isn't that big. You're a good egg. You always got the flyest Nike kicks. You don't leave eggy mess around the house. You, you, are, you are calm, cool, and collected. Thank you for not curb. Stomping my midget face in Atlantic City. Um, Yeah. That's the, I always got the fly Nike kicks. I had my hump shaved down. <laughs> it's not as bad as you think, everybody. I'm a divorced swinger now, so therefore I can just, well, then I'm not really a swinger anymore if I'm divorced, am I? think I? you can be. Not really, no. No, I think you need a significant. 
Ray sucks is from the MLC merch store. Yeah, uh, MLCmerch.com. Still available. Everything's available there. Don't let Kevin talk you out of it. Go over there and grab your stuff, okay? Another to be a swinger. Mm-hmm. Have no, you I think replaced you know, me already? I think you have to be married. I don't even think it can be a girlfriend. Really? No. Because you don't well, That really, seems weird. Because you don't really have any commitment with the girlfriend. Because then it's just like an open relation. It's just, you know, you're fucking around. Yeah, but I guess that makes sense, huh? I think you have to be married to be swingers. So I'm not a swinger anymore. Uh, I think you have to be married to be swingers. What? Well, that because sucks we're because then I don't get to be. <laughs> look at his face and look at hers. Her talking about swinging is game on. Him talking about swinging. That's the same face his dick makes when it gets hard. Sorry. Now you're just a hoe. <laughs> Can you believe we do it here at Steel Time? I'm sorry. I, I can't believe we do that. <laughs> I mean, at it's, least with the swinger thing, it was like a fun thing we were doing. Now or, you're just a, a slut. Or. Aaron, I, I, I hate to tell you this. There's really no different. Aaron's like, as long as I watch you be a whore, you're not a whore. Or maybe I'm not a whore or a slut and just nobody wants me, so I'm mm. celibate. That could be true. I, you keep, could just, I keep to myself. You could just be rotten and useless. Ugh. Enough about our uterus. Asexual. So there is that. Yeah, part. I'm good for nobody. Yeah. Uh, SH says if y'all get divorced, you can go back to dating. I mean, for April, sure, that'll be great. I got three kids, homeboy, d- and I'm 37. Hey, where what? did that get you the first time? Those aren't tech. You had those three kids when you started dating me. That's almost right. When you started grooming me, you still had three kids, so you could groom another girl. It was insulting. True, but like, <laughs> wow. I had to get you. Well, like at the store? You'd have to get anybody. But I what do. I'm saying is look what you did get. I and do. You had three I, kids. That's true. Look at the prize you won. <laughs> I do weigh less and I'm better looking now than I was then. God. Uh-oh. Yeah, you're right. Boy. <sighs> like a fine wine. If I had to blow it up and start over, I'd probably fucking kill it. Yeah, Let's that's be- actually what I was just thinking. Let's be honest. Let's be, I mean, just the puss would be lined up around my wood paneled home. You know what? Let's be honest. I would fucking destroy. I worry about this. There's those 60. Because- I worry about this, she said. That means there's nothing keeping him here, really. Those 60 year olds in Las Vegas, I'd fuck all three of them in a night. God, that was a fun day. Can we do that again? Take me to the le- anywhere, really, anywhere other than reality. Take me anywhere other than here. <laughs> Trying to say. Why does this sound so loud to me right now? Because you're just loud. You you're excited. What? You're thinking. You're thinking about me being out there just fucking, and you're getting all excited. You're yelling too loud. Fucking. Maybe it's because my nose is completely dicked because I fucked it up before the show. She did. Um. What? A mountain of blow, and now her no, nose doesn't work. Not any blow. I t- do what? you think that eating something really spicy would unclog this right now? All right, here's what you need to see. God, my dick's already moving. All right. Oh, it's not back good, is it? Do I have Yikes. to do this? No, you don't. You don't. I mean, you're the one who said you would. Oh, this is where they're at. This is where they're at. And by the way, this was Tuesday night. That's two days ago. Despite what this says, one day ago. This is Tuesday, uh, February 13th. 1600 views. Just just for uh, your edification, this video you're watching now, Thursday morning, morning show, while I'm live, is about to hit 2,800 views. 
April is borderline naked, and she's going to dance, prance, and point at her asshole, showing it all off. 1.6 thousand views. This is what they have to do now to get 118 likes. We're about to hit 318 likes. Hit the like button, you idiot. You fucking coward. She has to get almost nude for them to get 1.6 thousand views now. It's bad, and it only gets worse. Watch this. Oh, my goodness. Is this okay? Oh, my Lord. Look at her face. Look at her face. She's like, you like that, Daddy? She thinks she doesn't look like a malnourished boy. A lot of guys like this. Don't get me wrong. But she looks like, an, like you want to you wanna just say the truth. You want to be like, for 36 cents a day. I mean, but there's no ass, no tits, no like when you really strip it down, we we we've got a a gross bony bitch is what we have. Yikes. Oh, and she's showing the And he sits there letting her do this. Can my wife get any tips? Let's bring up the big board and watch the money flow in. The t the cardinal tattoo. Oh, that what is. Mean? That is. It's just a right. scar. Oh yeah, it's just a big scar. <laughs> it's just a really big scar from some really sexy guy in Texas. Look at his face while he gropes her leg. Yeah, that's mine. That's all mine, unless I let somebody else have it. Like my audience. Just that two artists. All right, y'all paid for it. I went with a classic black one with a not classic bottom. Oh my God. He's still looking away from her. You notice that? The orientation of his body? Still away from her. Elgi says, do a full turn. Yeah, see, they're not, they're never going to be satisfied. Do a full turn? I don't know. Knock out tomorrow's goal and I'll turn around for 30 <laughs> seconds. Knock out tomorrow's goal and I'll turn around for 30 seconds. Whoa. Well, we're waiting. Let's watch that goal come in. <laughs> I'll stand La there with it. Laundry room says, I got blood flow. <laughs> or lack thereof, it's all in one spot. Uh, that yeah, yeah. No, you don't have blood flow because it's all in your dick. That's really cute. You're built like a twelve year old boy, says hobo. I mean, he, she really is. Thank you. I know. So John's neglected cat says, <laughs> "Suck it in, piggy." <laughs> uh, what? I'm I, fine. I am Here, a cunt. Suck it in. I am a cunt. My <laughs> pee pee did a Hitler salute. Is this All it? right, Bulls Deep gave him one gifted membership for those tips. Let's love the Okay, did I do okay for all of you? Uh, Cowpoke called it, monetized that body, said balls and wieners. No, here's the thing. I've done two hot tub streams. I don't care anymore. So it is progressing. Hot tub streams. Now she'll do this show in a bikini. She will start sending nudes out for money soon. Whether or not she does an OnlyFans, that's speculation. There will be a, like, Discord that's private or somewhere to buy nudes. I mean, this is ridiculous. Roots <laughs> Calhoun says, for just 15 cents a day, you can help feed a starving April. Balls deep My abs gifting. are phenomenal, I know. Uh, My abs are phenomenal, I know. Let me just adjust this microphone that never moves. Uh, balls deep gift. Twist the knobs, eh? Gifting a membership. Thank you very much. Look, look at this. Look. Watch this. Watch how bad it gets. Look at look at it. Look at it. Look at it. She has no ass or thighs. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. They've gotten one membership for this. Look at it. Oh 
God, it's too far. He's going, oh, fuck. He almost made cum in his pants. Listen. Thank you very much. Look, look at this. Look, look, at, look at it. Oh, fuck. God, it's too far. Oh, fuck. <laughs> watch, watch movie. It's his wife. He's also not even looking. He never even looks at it. And watch him go, oh, fuck. Thank you very much. Look, look at this. Look, look, at, look at it. Oh, fuck. God, it's too far. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Far away, so I, I can't, can't really see it, I but... I can't. Have you and now he keeps grabbing it. Look at him. He has to grab it. You ever seen this bottom? Do you oh, God. Watch his face get sexy. Watch his face turn sexy. You want to throw up, ladies? You want to get the ick? Watch when he turns to sexy face from movie goof face. Watch. It's too far away, so I, I can't, can't really see it. I but can't. Have you ever seen this bottom? Right here. Bottom? <sighs> Do you know this was the first, like, really, I can't, can't really see it, I but. Can't. Have you ever seen this bottom? <laughs> Shroot vibes. Do you know this was the first, like, really sexy bottom I ever bought from uh, Victoria's Secret? This whole time he's looking, he's just groping her. He's doing this on her butt. I mean, this is wild. He's just groping her butt. Secret back when they were pretty risque. This is, like, from 2014. Get out of here. Here. <laughs> Fuck. This is their time. Ooh, fuck you. <laughs> I get my time. Mm -hmm, me too, you, Bob. Um, I'm going me too, you, boss. Again, only one membership has come in since she got in this bikini. Oh, please do. Send me to HR for a spanking. Oh. Yeah, I mean, this isn't so bad. Uh, April got a banging little spinner body. Thank you. Thank you, Aristocock. I'm jealous. Even at my fittest, I couldn't look that good. So, again, a spinner means a tiny girl you can spin around on your dick. So, another man just said to Aaron, wow, you could really spin her around on your dick. And she said, thank you. And he said, yeah. This is where they're at. <laughs> uh, Vince I lost Griswold. a little bit of weight, too, so. Vince Griswold says, we're doing it. Dude, I, if they knocked out, like, tomorrow's goal tonight, <laughs> oh, yeah? I would probably do the full turn, and I'll, the, I'll, the linger, turn? I'll linger a little bit. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah, because we don't have pause buttons. We really need you to stop. <sighs> but, I mean, I, it's not really that big of a deal, guys. It's fine. Yeah, I mean, tell your parents. Tell your church. Tell Aaron's parents who don't talk to him anymore. Tell the attorney general. Now, we were uh, Nick Ricada and I were talking about this because we both happen to have really? remarkably attractive wives. So what? And <laughs> we talked about how funny we She's always... She's very lovely. We, we talked about how funny it is when we go out in public or we walk with them somewhere and, like, we catch people hey. staring... And we're just kind of like, fucking right. April's not ugly. But staring. People don't stare at her. She's not abnormally beautiful or hot or anything. Like, she's Woods Girl 7. It's, it's, people can't stop staring at her. And I'm usually like, ugh, you want to fuck her for money? <laughs> I'm sticking like, to the, uh, I put wait, lotion on, so I'm sticking to the seat. I don't like it. Nick and I both do the same things. We look at the people who look and we just go, right? My 
The only value he sees in her is her body. It's like this is how like I don't I don't know most men stop thinking about women like this in college. It's like when you look for a partner, it's like yeah, you want someone you're attracted to, but also like more, right? Not just uh, uh, right, because uh, 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 and me and I do that to her, to that to her. I'm inside her sometimes, so I'm pretty cool. My favorite was right. on- look at him. On, vac- a, uh, on vacation, uh, when you wore that shirt and I wore that, uh, this sp- one membership is what they've gotten so far. One membership, those two penguins at the top were to get her to strip, but no one's in bowls deep is the only one who simped up five bucks for this. Sparkle dress with yeah. the, the tits thing, yeah, in Caesar's palace. And literally every single person in that hallway was like, and they're all looking at you. They- Everyone in Caesar's Palace stopped to look at Mubi like, how'd you get? So now she's not only in Minnesota, in Vegas. Everyone in Caesar's Palace was looking at her. I mean, we are out of control with these lies. They're all looking at me. Yeah, they're all just staring at my lovely shirt. Uh, Carl's Frosted Tip says, who's the whore? That's April. Aaron. Aaron, oh, Aaron whored me out, damn it. Uh, They're both right. Uh, Aaron, so, uh, somebody just said, oh, I had somebody say, Aaron, you really outpunted your coverage. That is true. Jake in the Hudson says, Aaron is not worthy. Apparently, I am. I've been here a while. I think he's fine. Yeah, I think I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> I think Tip said she was a sh- she's a really pretty, shiny rock. Right. Why would she go anywhere? I mean, she will the minute something better comes along. She cheated on her her ex with you, allegedly. So, like, let's not act like she don't swing from vines to vines. He's I think right. I'm okay. Uh, thank you, April. Thank you, chat. Uh, I don't mind doing this. Like, I have a ton of bikinis. It's uh, if you If you all feel like you deserve a treat every now and then, I'll try to stay in shape. Mrs. Portland says, Gino and Aaron are both dating minors. Well, then you know what? God bless whatever age of consent they made it to. Good joke, I guess. I don't understand it, but good one. That's what I say. Uh, Turbs McGurk says, April, thanks uh, for this, but we paid for a bikini stream tomorrow. Can't wait to see what you wear tomorrow. No, wait a minute. No, you did not. Oh. Call me SpongeBob because I want to go to Bikini Bottom, says Laughing I wish Lions. they could see this better. So men are commenting to Aaron that they want to see her vagina. That they could imagine spinning her on their dicks. And Aaron's loving it. Aaron's like, fuck yeah. I mean, it's, it's cuck adjacent, right? It's, I'm just too far away, and I don't know that I can really get up on the desk in this. That seems a bit rich. Uh, MSO says, no wonder Aaron is always so happy. See, if I had to do hot tub streams all the time and, like, treat these people to a nice bikini like Zia does yeah, sometimes, sure, that would be encouraging to stay in shape. Maybe you should oh, try for it. Sure. What a great time to tell you about today's executive producer, Brian Johnson. You might know him as uh, Steve Dave from the Kevin Smith movies. Brian Johnson, thank you for being a supporter of this program and all the high rollers that kick in to support this show on a regular basis. We could not and uh, shall not even attempt to do this without you. Um, your money is gone, but not forgotten. And that goes for Mary Beth Johnson as well, um, who says April couldn't handle the girth of Brian's wrists. Oh, God. Can you just imagine her getting fisted? Just sounds like Mac salad in the night. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, Peter Sky Parker says the dude in AC looked exactly like him. Brian Johnson. Yes. Yes. Can we do a vulgar watch along? Yeah, I imagine. Brian, do you have a video? Do you, is it on Vimeo? You got a secure copy of Vulgar somewhere we could watch? Stevie Lou is telling us about it. We'd love to watch Vulgar. Vulgar. I got to get out of here. Who knows what kind of problems my dog's having today? Maybe we'll have two shows today. Maybe we'll go later. I got so much to say. If you deserve it. If you feel up for it. We got to watch so much. I want to watch the whole Chad show, I think. Hold on, I'm getting a text. This could be important. Uh... Any interest in coming on point? Dabble point tomorrow. Maybe. I don't like to get involved in the Stuttering John stuff. Brian has an apron. You guys know what an apron is? Wow. Now, Brian makes Brian. I make Brian look thin. He's not a he's not a. As far as I know, he's not a fat man. Can I do point dabble point for like seven minutes? Could I come on for like Tukey was there and Tukey got the video of, you know, saying queef in your face. Why can't you have Tukey? I'm not, I don't know anything about stuttering John. I, I don't know anything about Stuttering John. That's the problem. Is Shuli going to be on it? Because no, no. Not if Shuli's going to be on it. Um, I might do it. I might do it. Tell Carl to shove it up his ass. You guys aren't nice, man. You guys aren't nice. I would never talk to Carl like that. Carl's been nothing but nice to me. I'm nice to people who are nice to me. I don't really, you know, you guys are too tribal for me. I can't take it. I'm out of here. Your manner is most unbecoming of a gentleman. Would you be high on cigarettes? I don't know if the comedy hasn't hit them yet. They're full-blown retarded or just high on cigarettes. The question posed to stupid hoes who don't get it yet. Excuse me, miss. Are you high on cigarettes? I don't know if the comedy hasn't hit them yet. They're full-blown retarded or just high on cigarettes. All the laughter that you deploy. If you listen to the show, boy, Patrick Melton, Melton faces. Have you stacking that no low point? It's the low point, not the reason. The reason is fucking gold. It'll make the taco pony party be a part of your soul. It'll make you vandalize a van with a pedal sticker. So both the family probably get arrested for